That's also important, just in case. Okay, um, who, so who was pointing I, I was Ward. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now let's get you on. You? Hey, I thought this place was unguarded. You got it all wrong, boy. I'm not on guard. I'm just taking a break. It's very relaxed down here. In the sewers? That's unfortunate. You get some decent pizza, too, from a couple of turtles. <laughs> and now that I've seen you, I can't very well let you just waltz on past. Listen, we really need to pass through. Can't you just look the other way? <laughs> Doubtless you're headed for the research facility, yes? Sure, whatever, you can go through. After all, I'm not exactly on the clock here. That doesn't mean I don't have standards. If you can't measure up to them, you're out of luck. Ooh. Standards? What kind of standards? You'd have solved at least 80 puzzles, which you seem to have done. You're free to go. Aren't you worried about what will happen if people find out you let us pass through? What does it matter if you get through? You won't stop the boss. No one's got the brains for that. And now that he's got his eye on you, it's only a matter of time before he traps you. We'll see about that. Hm. My break's over now. I don't imagine we'll see each other again. Goodbye. Yeah, man, there he goes. Later, suckers. Wow. Get a load of this. Right. I think it's safe to say we've arrived at Dimitri's research facility. Prime Minister is being dealt in the facade. Most likely, and that means the place is probably under very heavy guard. Be on the lookout for trouble, everyone. Oh dear lord. Yeah. End game. Battle is the end. Oh boy. As I suspected, we can't just stroll through the main gate. Perhaps there's a more discreet entrance into this place. Good idea, Professor. We might find another way in around here if we search carefully. Okay. Hidden puzzles abound. Wow, look Which... at that power plant. I think we can squeeze in through here. Look, you two, there's a message from here. That's over that time. Oh, where? Right there on the little scrap of paper stick to the wall, see? Uh, I can't see anything with these beady eyes. <laughs> Got there. Hey, God. Okay, follow, follow the code. Uh, okay. One of the four corner squares below A, B, C, or D will unlock this door and press. Start from the red square in the center and follow the order code. Shown at the top, red, blue, yellow to find it. Also, you can't use the same square twice. Which square will unlock the door? Ah, okay. easy. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. So it's be red, blue, yellow. Because it can't be used twice. Uh huh. Hmm. Blue, yellow, no. Red, red here. blue, yellow. Okay, so this one. Oh, wait, there, there's. Okay, let me just. Uh, Red, blue, yellow. Blue, yellow. Shit. Go down. Uh, okay, so. Can't do that. So, it can't be that. Uh, oh, Tech is here. Hey, Tech. Hey, Dad. Red, blue, blue, yellow? Uh, well, say red, blue, yellow. And... So then. Oh, God. Go, uh, left. Red, red, blue, yeah. No. Red, red blue, blue, yellow, red. red. Oh, there we go. Blue, oh, yellow. B. It's B. Blue. No, yellow. red, blue, yellow. Yep. Red, blue, yellow. Blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, blue yellow. yellow. Red, blue, Another red, yellow. Blue, yellow. Red. red. Uh, no, yeah, wait. Red, blue, yellow, red. I, I'm oh, yeah, trying. Yeah, you got it right. You got it right. No, no, uh, no. 
It no, was indeed A. Yeah, you just have to choose A. Just choose A. Just choose A? a. Yes, it's uh, A. Because oh, when you, you oh, pick oh. the last one, it's Rebel Yellow. Oh, shit! Oh. Awesome. No, you had it right. There, see? Oh, you my God. It's not that close. I did it. Who knows what I'm going to if I didn't tell the puzzle? Hmm. Your help is greatly appreciated, Flora, but I do wonder who could have left this message here. Yeah, whatever. We're going in. Oh! Oh, uh, that's you, Dasher. Done, Paula. About time. Glad to see you. You all had enough brains to solve your way through my puzzle. Oh! Hi there, Don Pablo. Hi there, Don Pablo. What? Kid, I'm lurking in the shadows. At least pretend to be Star Won't you? Paul, how did you manage to get across the Thames ahead of us? <laughs> Let me tell you a little something about being a true system player. Now your business. And the true system will keep you secret, so don't think I'll be sharing them with you. You probably just used that goofy flying machine of yours, too. Hey, it's not goofy, and I think I made myself clear of that letter's name important for discussing it. So switch stuff. Cheeky, I'm so bright. Very well, Paul. Now then, everyone, let's continue on. Hey. Is there a bathroom? Is there a bathroom for <laughs> What? <laughs> I, I believe the term is water closet, Luke. Yeah. Okay. This this ladder is sure to take us down into the research facility. Ah uh, yes, Captain Obvious to the rescue once again. Stand aside. I'll lead the way. What no way. hotels are you selling us, Luke? I'm the youngest and the nimblest. I should go first. Being nimble doesn't make you first. It makes you monkey. Stand aside. Really? What kind of behavior is that for an adult? Oh, Don Pablo, this is so disappointing. You were so wonderful and polite for you when you were disguised as a professor. And of course I was. When I play a part, I mimic every nuance of this character. That's that is true. Right now, to the way Lightning Eight. But right now, to why to the way Lightning is a part of a good dimension too. That's a terrible thing to say about him. He's not a gentleman. Gentleman, he is a gentleman. And you're just annoying crap. Whatever. Look, let's just finish this debate with a puzzle. Solve what I dish out when you got first. Oh, are, are we going to be play playing at all below this time? To inspect this odd construction site, start at the orange arrow and pass through points A, B, C, D in order. Be sure to cross every beam and use every ladder, but your path can't cross except to pass over or under a ladder. And what are you... Will you use the white ladders? Place ladders numbered 1, 2, and 3 in the correct location. Ah, oh, shoots and ladders. Never played it. No. Yeah. Mm. So you this start is... at the orange arrow, and then you gotta pass through A, B, C, and D. Okay. Mm -hmm. can't cross the same... Yeah, except to pass over and under a ladder. Okay, so it is. So you go number two and three. I hope this works. Hmm. How about this? <laughs> yep. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's yeah. Yep. Well, it was three different paths. Nice. Guess your head's not as empty as it looks. Well, deal's a deal. You go down first. And if you die, no shame on me. Well, Luke uh, jumps down and gets eaten by radioactive alligators. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Everyone, the coast is clear. Come on through. Awesome. This is like your classic underground passageway for transforming creatures to heroes. I'll bet you anything this tunnel leads all the way back to back out to the thing. You sound awfully sure about that. No question my methods. <laughs> Remember who you're talking to, boy. Nobody does secret laboratories like Don Pablo. Pablo. I suppose everyone's got 
I suppose everyone's got to have a hobby. Oh my. The materials they have here, they seem like... No, no, I must be mistaken. Never mind. Plutonium? 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 Radiation? This little shutter is burning our way. I'll... I'm starting to get the feeling we're not welcome here. Naturally, Flora. That's how the criminals work. The dirtier up the deed, the more cautious they get. Well, yeah, it's me. See, they even got out of their way to fit a puzzle lock to the shutter. And not open. Now, Luke, the dirtier the deed, the more it's done dirt cheap. The bit, hey. the bit. <laughs> Make the your bit. way from the green square to the red the square. Here, the act. Time. What's the cash? Well, you can only move the two numbers that differ by one from your current number. If you reach the goal following this rule, the door will open. Each number you touch will light up. Make sure all the numbers on your path are lit up before submitting your answer. Nice. Yes, yeah, yeah. filthy axe for a reasonable price. Yeah, filthy axe for a reasonable I, I... Oh, boy. Done. That's an already neat puzzle. Oh, oh yeah, no, it, it, it was incredibly easy for my eyes. Sweet. But yeah, uh, why is Don Paolo having wings instead of hair? He's got the Hey Hachi haircut. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That lock doesn't mean I stand a chance against me, super lock. I hope you didn't enjoy busting open that lock too much, Luke. It could lead you to a life of crime. Um. Sure, if you say so, Flora. The girl also needs oh. to be a lock man. A master of unlocking, you say? Oh! Uh, sh what are you doing oh. down here? Shh! Not so loud, sir. We've come to rescue you. I, I don't know what you mean. There's no need to play dumb, my friend. We know the whole story. You were captured by the family, or rather, Dimitri Ellen. And now you're being forced to work on his research here, correct? D D Dimitri, you know his name, but who are you exactly? I am the real Professor Layton. Dimitri has been using my good name for his own evil purposes. Oh, of course, I remember hearing that you, you worked in archaeology. Yes, it, it all makes sense now. Boy, you can't imagine how shocked I was to learn that Professor Layton was actually Dimitri. Are any of the other scientists here aware of Dimitri's true identity? Some yes, but I don't dare talk about it with people here. Imagine what the family would do to me if they caught me spreading that, that kind of information around. I see. Well, is Dimitri here in the facility with you? Sometimes he, he comes and goes. Yes, quick, hi! We got guards ahead of this way. Ah, I nice. But there's no future loop. Uh, what was it, Dash or Stare that was doing these? I no, I know uh, Asher was Smartin and Stare was the big guy. Oh, this place looks like a meat locker. I don't see why we have to stand guard down here anyhow. Unless we're gonna get what kind of the rat. Uh, Stare, that's you. You might be Stare? busy. No. Oh, I I'll just, uh... Just... Yeah, it's too schmelly. Schmelly. Okay. Remember how we got fallen guard duty back at the pagoda? That's why. This is our punishment. And I know I say we got off easily. If boss roll you to hopping on this gig, he'll knock your block off. What he's saying is true. Nothing good ever comes from this planet, boy. Turn it, you won't. We got it 10 hours till our shift ends. So let's just ride this out and then go home. Did you really want uh, to make? Nice. Okay. Uh, you... Go ahead, Stare. Uh, uh, okay. If you really want to take time, go faster. Quit the complaining and tell me a joke. Psst, did you hear that? I did. Those two are going to stand guard there for the next ten hours. I, I, I'm heading back. The, the guards know me. If I walk by on my own, they won't stop me. Wait just one moment. I think we might be able to get these fellows to overlook us as well. 
But how? It's not my usual style of problem solving, but you know what they say about desperate times. Desperate Puzzles. measures, after all. Desperate measures, yep. Those ah. goons are standing right below that wooden crate. All I need to do is cut the rope, but it's all messed up. Rearrange the tiles. So that We're gonna fucking kill the them! To the crate. The goons. Nah, nah, they, they need to they're gonna the get bell. the classic, knock them out. Oh, I boy. always leave Luke to do the dirty work. I can't sully okay. your hands with this. Okay, so... You be the murderer, Luke. Oh, okay. What are you... A little Luke. Where's big Luke? Okay, but how did Luke get a hold of the Burroughs' scissor man scissors? Yeah. They left them there carelessly lingering about. Do so you yeah. notice that fast? He's, he's got the clock tower scissors. Oh, my yeah. God, you're right! Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> oh, my God. So Luke was Dan Burrows all along! Oh! I don't think it's Dan Burrows. Oh, wait. You, you mean the Tractor family is, is secretly the Barrows family? Yes. Oh, boy. Has anybody ever played the King Clock Tower before? Yes. Oh, yes. Right back. It's... I, I played the, the PS1 and the uh, Super Nintendo version. Actually, there are, there are two types of PS1 Clock Towers. There's oh. the... There's the, like, the... Like the remake one and the other, the sequel. Well, so. uh, the sequel is the one, the, the one that takes, you know, that that is after the original, and then the other one being the the one where the girl's possessed and she's doing like freaking Hulk Hogan leg drops. Uh. Oh, oh, you mean Clock Tower Ghost Space, aka Clock Tower Two: The Struggle Within? Yeah, the one where where she's possessed by the the freaking. Guy who's always like, you know, I'm not taking this shit. I'm... Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, Bates. <laughs> oh, Bates. I remember the Rats Who Pray for that. That, that, that thing was so hilarious. Yeah, yeah. A... yeah. Oh, and then, of course, we, yeah, Bass, you forgot wow. about Clock Tower 3 when uh, it was more oh. of a Sailor Moon parody. Ah, uh, yes. What? Ah, uh, yes. The, the very, uh, the very Brit British game with Japanese, like, stage play for the cutscenes. <laughs> Yeah. Also, uh, one thing, why did he, why did Luke just didn't just cut the rope instead of untangling all that mess? Well, he had to untangle it for, well, Leighton untangled it first, and then Luke was going to be the killer, so Leighton set it up so Luke could be the murderer. Okay. Hey. That's how hey. it gets played. Well, that still makes well. both of them the murderer, because he was the one to untangle the whole thing. Well, no, it's it's Batman logic. See, see, Batman always got Robin to do the dirty work. <laughs> yeah, and then Robin got the option A or B. <laughs> okay, for some minutes. do the trick. Now kill them, Luke. Just as I suspect. Go ahead, cut the rope. Uh, very nice. <laughs> yep. No, cut the rope. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh. Dead. Oh, God, I felt my life oh my wait a minute, God. let me do it. Uh, it uh, the Ganon. Die. Yeah. Oh, well, I bet those two die. didn't see that coming. They'll be out cold for a while. I'm so sorry for not having been there. Oh, no problem. Yes, I yes. know we can come with violence, but at least now we can pass safely. Also, one of them looks like he's asleep. Before we move on, please hear me out. We came here to prevent Dimitri from completing his time machine. We also wish to liberate all the scientists that Dimitri is holding captive. I'm listening. I'm hoping we can speak directly with the man and end this whole mess. Do you know where Dimitri might be right now? Hmm. Well, if he's here, he'll, he'll most likely be in the central research room. I, I can show you the way. Wonderful, but before we go, allow me one more question. Very well. These materials lying around down here, they aren't for building a time machine, are they? Mm, no, they're not. What exactly are you working on here? My specialty is polydimensional physics. I work on the time machine. The materials lying around here belong to a separate research group within the facility. And this group also works under Dimitri's supervision? Who knows, that group tinkers with some pretty dangerous stuff. It's not really in line with Dimitri's interest, though. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Ah, cue ball. 
I think that was Dasher. Yep. Yeah. This is a real Professor Layton, Cuthbert. A real Professor Layton? What does that even mean? Um, look, I'll explain it all later, but we don't really have time to go into that right now. All you need to know is for now that these people have come here to help us get out of here for good. You do want to go back to our own time in the past, don't you? Um, I do need to go back. How can I help you, Professor? I have to find Dimitri, the man who's been using my name. I hear he's in the central research room. Where is that? Oh dear. You're close. It's just a ways down this corridor. Wow, I still can't believe you're the real Professor Lightning. Imagine that. As I recall, you were rather surprised to see me the last time we met as well. Ah, uh, yes. Well, you'll have to excuse me. I had no way of knowing who I was talking with. Anywho, anyhow, there'll be time for a chat later. We should go get a move on before you're spotted. Buster and his goons came through here saying that there were intruders in the building. Oh dear, mm. we don't have much time. Thank you, Droopy Dog. What? But how did he manage to spot us so quickly? I should have known. He probably took his infrared sensor at some point. Now it's just been standing around like Let's go. Okay. You guys are puzzled, do they? You know. Professor, I got to get out of here and find a way back to my own time. Don't let me down. This is a research room, it's just down the facility here. Hurry, before the guys stop you. Thank you both, I'll take it from here. That's my bombs. Okay. Well, ah. out of the puzzle. This door appears to lead to the central research room. I sure hope Dimitri is in there. As do I. You heard him talk to us before, Luke. He can still be reasoned with. I'm sure of it. Mm. Well, our first challenge is to get the door open. It's got some strange lock on it. Hmm. Another puzzle, no doubt. Dimitri wishes to test the intelligence of all those who enter the lab. Oh, boy. Orange plus sign shown in the top left corner below is hidden somewhere in the green grid. It's the exact same size and shape. Can you find it? Draw the lines around it, then tap submit. Oh, okay. Okay. So this... This is gonna be... Hmm. This is going to be a fun ride. Yes. Just going to find that. Or I could. I I may be wrong, but. Uh-huh. Hmm. Interesting. Mm, no, that can't be right. No. It? No. Can you draw the middle at first? Draw the middle top and the middle bottom? Let's just test this. I've got a good All right. about this one. No. Oh. Well, Shit. at first you don't succeed. Well done. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we gotta find the exact shape. Oh. Check, check around, uh, not just the uh, quarter, but where else, because there might be something else you see. I could, uh, in fact, probably do this. Go oh, ahead and try that. Uh, Let's see if I've got this right. No, not that either. Uh, oh, too sure simple. My logic was sound. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait. Try the no. I was supposed to try the edges. <laughs> if you can't do corners, you try like doing the edges because it'd be like one like split in half. One's on the right side and one's on the left side. I possibly couldn't do it. Uh, this one. Well, like... Uh, looks like it could be... Hmm. Well, this is more like an optical illusion puzzle. Although it's of the same size and shape, so it's... 
Very yeah, it has, it has to be... Uh, mm, nope. No, it tops off. Tapped out. Bleh. God damn it. Sorry. It's okay. <sighs> we got a bit too much protein. Well, I, I know where I could hook this. Mm, no. No, that's too uneven. Are you? Yeah, you no. cannot. Yeah, see, yeah, I can. You can't. No. Uh... Cooking's too gluten cooking. No. Hmm. Too lopsided. Uh, no. Two piece. Hmm. Hmm. Lettuce. Uh, lettuce. Let us see those lettuce. Hmm. Okay, let's eliminate the corners. The four four corners are out because they can't mm -hmm. make the steak. Hmm. So if we do do that down, we can do do the do corners. these kinds of edges. So it could be possible. Hmm. Ooh. No, yeah. there's no way to connect it from the top. Excuse me, sorry. Close, but... Mm. This whole thing looks hard, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe the hint. Steam is. It's definitely Look very good. closely. Again, it, it's more of an optical illusion puzzle. Mm -hmm. So you have to almost kind of cross your eyes together. Hmm. You just take the shape, like, with a memo. Oh. Close. I that same thing. Doesn't be split in half. Yeah. Oh. Oh, close. Unless you can do two sides of it. Yeah. It. Oh, I just realized, yeah, because not only do you have to do the the outside, but you have to do the inside too, Vest. Mm -hmm. Just think about it. Like, look at the look at the cross. It you would need two lines. Mm -hmm. See, so you need to make you need to make eight lines. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh. I think you could do that, but on. Uh, hmm. Okay, so you don't have to do it across the whole square. You can do it in between. So, yeah, start from there. From no, no, not there. Not these two lines. You okay? Let's say that each square represent a number. One, like one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. For me, I think that four square at the right on top is where we should start. Because the shape is. So you go between two and three, which are at the top. Uh, not this one, the, the other side. Yeah, this one, you go to this, the line in the middle. Uh, no, no, just a little bit above. <laughs> no. The, the other one, just a bit above. 
<laughs> Sorry. The the middle one, just above the point. So going up. No, 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 another up. Yep. Mm -hmm. You go at the. You go down. Oh, this no. one. Yeah, like that. You go down. You go back. Oh! oh. oh. Holy. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. wow. That should do the trick. That is yeah, pure. Yeah. That is like. That is that is big brain. I see. Yeah, it's it was an optical illusion. Yep. There we are. The door's lock seems to have disengaged. Oh. Hold it right there. Oh no. Oh shit! Where's we got a crack. We need to go. Good. So this is where you sneaky sneaks have been hiding. Be no Future Luke, get the golden time. gun. Wait, where's uh, Future Luke? Big look. Oh. Oh no, we're trapped. Quickly, follow me. Huh? Wait. Claire. Uh, do here, everyone. What? Uh, away. <sighs> that was too close. My heart's still racing. Who are you? Claire. My guys must be playing tricks, tricks on me. <laughs> My love. You're Professor Layton, are you not? Claire? Is it you? I'm Celeste, her younger sister. Dum dum dum. Really now it's really a soap opera. I. I hear you. I know she was quite fond of you, Professor. Oh my God! So like, I hey, didn't know. Gotta, we I, got a full I, I bingo did... board. Ah, sweet, we got a full bingo. You're Claire, younger sister. I can't tell how much you look like her. We've crossed paths several times in the city, haven't we? Strange, clever Claire never mentioned having a sister. It's my biggest regret that we spent the last years of her life estranged from each other. Forgive me for not getting in touch with you earlier, Professor. I wanted to, but I was afraid it might bring unwanted attention from the family on both of us. For our own soul AD, I decided it was better to avoid contact with you at the time. I see. I still scared Billy for you just to come to a place like this in your search for of the truth. Well, to be honest, I haven't been running my own investigations so much as the professor's. But why? Your reputation, they say the great Professor Lathan can solve any puzzle, right? I figure if anyone could get to the bottom of what happened that day. It would be you. Celeste. On the day of the explosion, I... No oh, shit! Cutscene. Oh no! The event will be here any second! We got to run! And now is my time to shine. No one make a grand escape like Don Paolo. See ya, suckers! Our group is to watch them more quickly. We need to split up. I couldn't agree more, Celeste. I shall show you too much to do to myself. Let me handle the children. I can no, start. Don. Celeste, wait. There's still so much we need to discuss. Yet again. Oh, I found you. Oh, no. Professor, the sun has kept a secret from you so much. It defies this imagination. The answer to everything lies in the old father's embrace. It is there we will meet next. So it wasn't the future, the then. I figured this. I figured this may not be the future. Yeah, I don't think it could be the future because Celeste. Hey, right would where be you there. are, intruders. So, yeah, that that could be like a thing. Like we could be in France, maybe. So, you know, yeah, from all the accordion music. Yeah. We could also be in a part of London that has long since been abandoned. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, like that, uh, infinite world of... No, wait, infinite world of... The secret, the hidden world of Steam takes place in America. So... So you're saying this is just one big elaborate ruse from Mysterio? Hey, 
like uh-huh. we we've been through different places like in the previous playtick games so it's no no big surprise how many times have you guys been streaming this game uh was it three three parts now or four parts I, it's definitely four parts okay yeah four parts uh, Okay, because I was wondering, why are we streaming the very last game of this franchise before the first one? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's a game that I, I haven't played. I'm really sorry I, I dragged you all into this without no, knowing what fine. happened. No, 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 no. I got to work on my professor voice. Okay. I, I will be openly honest, even though it is the last game, we all gonna just get that moment of, oh, this is where they started. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, well, we're we're still only, we're still like um, like this is the last game before we hit the prequel trilogy. So and we, the Ace Attorney crossover. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So so it's possible that we could get a fresh starts on like the adventures of Professor Layton and Luke. Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney. Yeah, yeah. Professor, they're gaining on us. Luke, Flora, we have to run. Okay. Up, up, up. We need to leave this facility immediately. Leave the red. We mustn't head ah. back that way. We'll be caught. Be right back. Okay. Ooh. I can't believe there are three of us made it out here in one piece. Oh, don't let your guard down, Luke. We're not out of the woods yet. I can't stop thinking about the last thing Celeste said to us. The answer to everything lies in the old father's That's gotta be the statue she's talking about. Oh, at the very least, he did hear it correctly. That's that's what I think, Bass. Like, it, it would be the statue of the father that Luke always looked at. used a code to hide our meeting place from the family. But what could that code possibly mean? Think of it as a puzzle, Luke. Though I suspect the answer to this puzzle will be much more than our next meeting place. I'd wager that it's also the family's secret headquarters, and where Dimitri has been hiding. If that's the case, it's even more important that we find out where this place is. Luke, do you remember seeing a flyer for a restaurant named the Thames Arms on the way here? That's where Celeste will be waiting for us. At the Thames Arms? Oh, arms, yeah, yeah the arms of the old father, yeah. Well, Luke, have you ever heard of Old Father Thames? Rivers are often personified in... Remember, there was a picture of an old man on the floor. No oh. And Celeste said that the answer lies in the Old Father... Sorry, I forgot to... Yeah, it, that, that's what it, the, the Old Father's embrace, the Thames arms. Oh! See, no! Oh, big So we're going back to the port. One of the rabbit will be there. I've been thinking, Professor. About what, Luke? About how you, Dimitri, and Don Palolo all have personal tied to Port Claire. And all of us, you seem to question the circumstances surrounding her death. Celeste as well. Why do I get the feeling that many of the mysteries here led back to the explosion? Luke, you asked too many questions. The explosion that killed Claire didn't just level the lab she worked in. By the time I caught word of the accident and ran to the site, the whole place was in flames. Mm. An apartment building next to the lab had also been destroyed by the blast. Wait a minute. That, uh, that kid right here. Could this be the future, Luke? Oh my god, that could be... What the fudge? Layton, Layton's got his hands around stair? What? Uh, uh, Rugal's in her... in the... That's the <laughs> Circular oh. the arms of Rugal? So, you're just saying that this this kid right here may... like, is actually the... the that future look we... Same. Yeah! I... It, so the entire area was still that big... that big look isn't big look, but it's that a guy... Trying to disguise himself as Luke from the future, so all this timeline thing doesn't work anymore. 
<laughs> yeah, Again, that's... This was, a, this was a trap by Mysterio from the Spider-Man universe. Oh. Oh, great. You probably took a little bit too much of that, um, fire. Huh. <laughs> Looking upon that scene, I knew that Claire was lost to me forever. And I wasn't the only one who lost something that day. Many others were wounded or lost loved ones. To this day, I still remember a child I met wandering the street, wailing for his lost parents. Well, that looks better. For some time after the incident, I was in a state of shocked grief. But when I came back to my senses, I noticed something curious. Despite the scale of the damage, there was no follow-up coverage in the media. Not one word on the incident was printed or broadcast following the initial report. I knew the only way I'd get answers about what happened that day was to run my own investigation. Oh, Lord. Wait a minute. That's the Prime Minister. That the fucking... He, yeah, Bill, the Bill Prime Hawks! Dun-dun-dun! Yeah. Dun. No, wait, wait, wait. If that's the Prime... That can't be the Prime... Never mind. It is, it is the Prime Minister. I immediately set to work yeah, with the Claire's lab the and the scientists get work. Yeah, he looks like the guy from Up. The sideburns? Yeah, that's... Uh... The square jaws. <laughs> During yeah. my investigation, I learned that the powerful political forces had suppressed reports on the blast, i.e. Prime Minister. Okay. He was involved. Holy shit! K.O. It was right after discovery that I was viciously assaulted. <laughs> a man named Bertie threw chains around me. My injuries were so severe I was unconscious for a month. I was lucky to be alive. Damn, who did they hit you with? Chain grab soup. I returned home to find my flat torn apart. The majority of information I'd gathered on the case had been stolen. That explosion was no ordinary accident. Someone with incredible political clout was involved. Bill Hawks. Ooh. And this person abused his or her power to keep any facts about the event from ever coming to light. Mm -hmm. I tried to dig back into the case several times, but it was no use. Each time I tried to make headway, I was met with resistance and threats of violence. Claire's lost to me forever. I know that, but I must know the truth of what happened that day. It's a feeling I'm sure Don Paolo and Celeste share as well. Hmm. So you think Dimitri knows the truth? Dimitri, perhaps, and one other person. Who else do you meet, Professor? Everything will be made clear at the Thames Arms. Let's go. We, we can see it from so far. So this away. was a huge plot. Hey, Pavel. Oh. Right. I lost Pavel. Okay. Yeah, what, we what still we for Rome. So what? What were you saying, Rubel? I was to say it, it, it was it was corruption from the start because uh, Dimitri and Hawks did the experiment in order to sully Layton's name. And then, of course, perhaps build an actual time machine. Oh. The the one that they had was not a real, real time. It was just it was it was all smoke and mirrors. Shit. Oh, uh, Dasher. Wait, 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 wait. If it wasn't a time machine, then how the the old couple who used the old supposed time machine clock could have moved around the platform? Could it be possible that we're in fact on the ground? Are we sure that those two weren't uh, some type of otherworldly entities? Right. Well, you that gotta understand. Manipulating events. Mm. Did one of them have a sonic screwdriver? No. no. Okay, um... <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, by, by the way, uh, Dasher? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Dasher. I said eek already! <laughs> but, uh, you didn't want to... You, you didn't want to... Floor, <laughs> are you okay? No, I'm not. Oh. Come on, comrade, it was my intention to scare the young... Floorline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I... Japanese, Russian... <laughs> German. See, I, see, I, I told you he, he's using 
all all the accents. He's a weeb. Pablo, what are you doing down there? I was exploring the area and somehow wound up here. No, Tres lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's either French or Spanish. Doing some tunnel exploration like you were talking about before, I take it? Now, earlier in my quest to find the tunnels, I mistakenly wandered into some, like, tracks. Ew. What? Vajay. Yeah, oh. in great peril, but oh, Vajay. And parcel of ah, but, but, but. Le Monon? Il <laughs> Mondonon. I can't do French, sorry. I uh, suppose you could say that. I mean, I mean, I know someone who could do French. <laughs> no, don't do it then. Okay. Oh, no, just because he's a jumble. Like again, this uh, Pavel's a big weeaboo. Well, uh, no, pa Pavel is 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 like is uh, I don't know. No, what is? I know. Or it's, just, it's the way like how a, a, a like a weeaboo would talk, where they would be mixing all these different Japanese together and it would be so out of place ah uh, yes that that's actually i think you know what is the term for for like uh that's more than that's actually uh no what's a different term for weed that's actually uses all the country's accents well not on otaku but um well and otaku only <sighs> u uses asian the most you could say well this guy is that he's a wannabe yeah, yeah, I wanna be. Or, or you could be like uh, mixed up in head. Like, brother. no, he's just he's he thinks that he he's because he's a traveler. Or like, oh, I, I know, I'm proficient in every language. I know everything. It's just like he he's um, deluding delusioning himself into thinking he knows a lot, but he comes off as being kind of weird and yeah. goofy. <laughs> yeah, I think think Sodom from uh, Street Fighter Alpha. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, natural mente. Natural mente. Most of my travel walls could be, have been avoided in my compass had it gone to Kaput. Kaput, I say. Kaput. So now I think yeah. the map may be able to show me where to go. A little stuff. Kurisai? No, Kurisai. Kurisai? <laughs> oh, which way? Kurisai, Tren Gerost. Below is oh. a chart with a cardinal direction written in each square. The top of the chart, however, isn't necessarily north. When looking at the chart from the proper orientation, you can start at a certain square and moving in the direction written in each square, pass over all squares of this chart. Which side, A, B, C, or D, is north? Ah, so we have an upside-down compass. And we got oh. east, southeast, northeast, northwest... East, west, southwest, southeast, east, east. <laughs> we got E, we got Ness, we got WWS. E. I know that old e. Mark Fire meme. Yes. I... If it was F, if we press F, it just. Yeah. <laughs> We're so, we just a bunch of memes. No, but I see the NES in there, so oh. Nintendo is the answer. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow! Ness, yeah, oh, yes. it's Kula. Kula is the answer. Yes, yes. yes. God damn! God damn! Damn it! Let's see if you go by diagonally uh, and upward, we get wee. Oh man, I say. <laughs> I, 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 so I. Diagonal the other way, we get C. I, I swear to God, God Rugal, you really, really corrupted me with all that SNK knowledge. And then we go down, we, if we just go down two, then we get you. Wait a minute. Raw Ram you. News! New! News! Hey, that's a nice drawing. Look like a, look like a duck almost. That looks like a freaking uh, Tetraminos. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Be right back. Wait a minute, uh... Wait. So we just have to be able to, uh, so the direction has to go through all of them, so... Oh, uh, looking at the chart from the proper orientation, you can start at a certain square, and moving in the direction written in each square, pass over all the squares on the chart. Um... 
Oh, so the, yeah, you kind of have to rotate a bit. Uh, let's, see. let's see. If you start at D, so rotate from D, we go north to east, uh, east goes to west. Hmm. How about we start at B? Yeah, one? okay, uh, south, south. Ah, oh, that's here. There's a way to get west, though. Well, no, because we could rotate it, so... Hmm. Hey, Hunter! Uh, uh, you can you do jo jo join in Discord chat if you want to hang out as well. Hmm. Yeah, you can, you can. Also, I think it's D because it's already north, east, west, south. Okay, not in right it's now. Just I understand. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you go north, east, east, south, um, south. What? No, because then, e oh, how do we get to east? So, that's all I think. Because it's the one in the middle. Because uh, if we start at D, we wouldn't get E to E. How about we actually do start in the middle? Probably a good place to start. I mean, we're all looking at the coins. Let's start in the middle and... Oh yeah, no, it says yeah, you can start at a certain square and moving in direction red yeah, so you can't start in the middle. So we go east. <sighs> I've got a good feeling. I think I'm wrong, actually. <laughs> no. Hmm. I must have overlooked something. Overlooked something. Yeah, because if you start it oof. Oh shit! So yeah. if you start in the if you start in the middle, you would go east, south, south, west, west, uh north. East, mm. east, east, mm. so that might be B, but then that yeah. wouldn't lead to um, a No, I think it could be C. Let's take C because west, west, south, both point down. Well, if we were to take D, there's only west that goes to D, but north goes up, east goes to the right. And then when we look at A, it all goes to the right instead of to the direction. Mm -hmm. And when we take B, it goes once to the right and then tw to the bottom. While the closest to C all aim at the bottom. Because when we then turn it, it goes west as well. Well, we well, can just give it a try. Well, no, wait a minute. So if we go east, north, east, 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 south, south, west, west. Yeah, no, that doesn't lead to D. I was thinking we could start in the middle at E. Because remember, uh, Stir, you can rotate it too. It says if you rotate it, you'd be able to see it as well. Did I, well, did I spend any coin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, each from each direction, one at a time. Let's just go and grab C. North, south, east, west will always be opposite directions. Mm -hmm. hmm. Three east in a row, which means the last square you touch will be one of these, since you can't change direction once you enter this row. Mm. I kind of want to see what it will be if we pick C. Okay, yeah, I think C, C seems to have this. Oh boy! Mm. All right, survey says. Let's see if I've got this right. We got it! Take that. Well, Yay! I gotta see how this thing worked out though. Oh, oh, yeah, see, you start at east, so east, north. Yeah, you see, if you turned it, see, east, north, west, west, south, south, E, C, 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 so it would it would enter out at D. Yeah, I oh. was right about rotating it. Damn, son. <laughs> the most real, most of some. Thank you, I now can continue my travel. Do be careful out there. I know. You have another doubt, Basil, for me? Don't mind me. I was just thinking about which one to go me. I thought he was trying to get to Rome. No more must just sign. Oh my god. <laughs> now that we're topside again, I think it's finally safe to say we've given the family the slip. 
Things got rather chaotic back there. Flora, are you feeling all right? Not too shaken, but stirred. It's fine, Professor, but I'm very glad I, I had you to I have both of you with me. Professor, the theme's arms is just a little way up the route here. Let's go meet up with Celeste. Okay. Yeah. It's near the end. End game, part two. The truth Take that. Revealed. By the truth revealed. Ah, oh, there, there they are. Hey. Sir, that's uh, you. I think that was. Oh. Yes, yeah, oh, sir. Lincoln. Any breakthrough in your investigation? Oh. Possibly. I'm very glad to see you. I need to, you to come with me to the Thames Arms. Oh, the Thames Arms. An investigator of Premises reveals such a smell, sir. Warden, keep quiet for just a minute, would you? What is it like, please? So I'm missing at the Thames Arms that I need to head there this. Instant. Instant. I make no promises, but it's likely that what happens there will lead you to the Prime Minister. Oh, really now? Hmm, well, my interest is peaked, but there's the matter of this blasted puzzle. What puzzle? <laughs> the one in this letter I found. I have a feeling it could have come... Uh, what the... It could have some bearing on my <laughs> case. Would you mind if I had a look at that, Inspector? Where's the arrow? Where's the arrow? I'm just... There's a treasure oh, hidden God. below one of the tiles in this room. The only clue is in a handwritten note. Follow the arrow to find it. Which tile should just... you do that? Let's see if I've got this. Oh, right. God. That shit! What? Come on, Zash. You didn't give him the chance. I'm just picturing the poor... I'm just picturing the poor Inspector falling in the face. What? I... I... Wait, 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 wait. The coffee stand right here. Hmm. The coffee stand does look an arrow. So right say there's a one, two, three, four, five. Well, I, I, well, one. Hold on, the hold on. Uh, there's an arrow right next to the door. See. That's look at the monkey's nose. Look at the monkey's yeah, nose. Yeah, that's an arrow, arrow right too. There. Yeah, see where the X X is. Uh. So it's the. What about the tile that got a bit of there. dirt coming out? I think well, Bass tried that. No, no, from with the grass. Oh, the grass. Mm. No, but I think it's under the monkey's nose. Yeah, because the monkey's the monkey pointing nose? down. Because the only other arrow I could think of was the, the little crack next to the door, but that's all right, really all right. So it'd be the two X's, yeah. Mm. X marks the spot. Feeling about this one. Yeah, there we go. Yep, X marks the spot. You, that's just that's just treasure map logic. It's impressive. Impressive. <laughs> well, you didn't even need the arrow. The X's marked the spot. Mm -hmm. Sorry to say, Inspector, but this letter doesn't appear to have any relevance to your case. Oh, oh, just wonderful. Another perspective laid fizzle out. I'm in my wit's hand. I'll tell you. Sorry, Inspector, but it says on this treasure on the end of the letter, it says drink more Ovaltine. Oh my goodness, no. Whatever you got to show me at the Fane's arm, it has to be more useful than that letter. That's all I must say is good. <laughs> oh, oh what does Carl have to say? Nothing. Oh, oh my god. I should never come to London. Yeah, it's, it's Carl from Aqua Team. <laughs> yeah. Let, yeah. Let, Get out of my freaking teams. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's subject. It's S3. Subject 3. That's right, That's where you got there. Awesome shirt. What are you going to put on yeah. on them? No, we're just on our way to blow off the lid off the biggest mystery Leonard's ever seen. Great. You have fun with that. Luke just got beaten up again by the rabbit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, me too! Oh, big Luke! Cool, Luke. I'm uh, glad we finally met up with each other. Where did you run off to? I was doing a little bit of in my own shadowing. A suspicious woman I'd seen in town. Oh, he's talking about Celeste. I saw her telling you around town and decided someone needed to figure out who she was. No, you must be talking about Celeste. Hmm. Where did you last see her? 
I lost her at one point, but I just saw her again heading into this restaurant. The rock. Seconds later, I saw a friend of ours head in as well. Oh, let me guess. Don Pololo. I'm beginning to wonder why I even bother explaining. You guys seem to know it all already. Well, we've been hard at work getting to the heart of the case, too. I say... I say, cool Luke, would you like to be my new apprentice? S shut up! <laughs> Excellent! I figured you two would, would just wait idly for me to return, so now what? Also, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh yeah, you're still working on that stare, aren't you? That uh, you wanted uh, the cool Luke uh, outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna have to pay him. <laughs> All the That's players so cool. in our mystery are here. I think it's time to meet back up with Celeste. Mm. Players in our mystery. What's the professor getting at? We have no idea. Well, oh, Luke, all I, know oh, Luke, oh, Luke, oh, I will tell you right now, it was Professor Plum in the kitchen with the pipe. Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, oh my. Look, look, we two. have... Wow, we have so many characters, pixelated characters. Yo, yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people. I include the, the Rugula. Yeah, so like, as I said, we, we were going to uh, get to the ending of Clue. Yeah. I wonder you if there's going to be alternate Clue. Oh, shit! There's Don. Let's go see Don Paolo first. Okay, who yeah, should we talk to? Uh, Don Paolo. You sure you took you sure took your sweet time getting here, like I thought you might have gotten lost. Come on, Paul. Surely you haven't been waiting that long, have you? Five hours. Oh please, it was only three puzzles. Uh, oh, I'm so relieved you made it out. All right. I could very, I couldn't very well let myself get caught before hearing about the secret you mentioned. So they tell me you already figured out much of it as for yourself. Am I right? Huh, Professor? Is that true? Uh, oh, stare. Ah, oh, the Layton. If you know something, spit it out. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Ah. Oh. <laughs> All concerned parties seem to be in attendance, so I'll try to explain things as best I can. God damn it, I was late. <laughs> That's okay. Here we go! It's taken time, but I believe I've finally made sense of the bizarre events we've witnessed here. You've worked it all out? For the most part. Eh? Hmm. Come on then, now with it! Yes, of course. I, it. I have much to say about this city and its secrets. The London we are presently in is the London of the future. I fucking knew it! Oh, Stereo? No. Stereo? Stereo? What? I said well, Mysterio. Mysterio. Oh my yeah, Mysterio from Spider-Man. Oh no! Yeah, far from disguise. home. Uh, Yes. Are we more precise in an alternate wonder or something like that? No. Because believe that we've traveled ten years into the future. So we're just in the same London. Oh. Actors, actors, my boy. Yeah. As you see, or there people. There is no time machine. Mm-hmm. Not here, not anywhere. Oh. Because what? there never was. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's shocked face. We were all led to believe that the clock shop was a portal to the it, future. It has, there's no time machine. And I was my time to use a screwdriver. It is in some ways just as bewildering. The back room of the clock shop is no time machine. It's a lift leading down into the earth. We're in Mole City. That's so true. Seriously, a lift. You mean to we went to Rapture. We're underground right now. Well, Rapture is is underwater. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah. I think. I think. Places can. Okay. You know that kind of. You know that kind of reminds me. We never had a like a 
like a Bioshock like game set fully in underground. I mean, Atomic R has that, but that was only like the first part. More people? I saw that old black and white movie. What I've seen here leads me to conclude that Dimitri used one such cavern to build this false London. It's as if we're standing in the largest film set ever created. What? Congratulations, Inspector. You're a movie star. So Dimitri is behind all this, then? But why? <laughs> that question stumped me as well. He got his friend Christopher Nolan to direct us. To make us believe we're in the future. We're actually in a London in a dream of another London. No, 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 we're not in London, that's... What kind of goal requires a setup like that? It's simple. It seems that Dimitri never gave up his original dream of building a time machine. Yep. But though he poured all his energy into achieving this feat, the task was too large for one man. He needed other scientists to support his project, so he turned to the greatest minds in London. But to keep the scientists working for him, they needed to believe that they were in the future. Why? Oh. Think about it, Luke. Dimitri couldn't imprison the scientists, not in the conventional sense. After all, who knows what kind of work they would produce under those circumstances. No, Dimitri needed a different approach to compel the scientist to complete his research. So thus he got his friend Chris Angel to perform a mind freak. As much as Dimitri did. Mind freak. So he told her that he had shot forward ten years in time, stranded a decade from home. Dimitri misled the This is more magic than I thought it would be. The time machine was an unfinished project. They thought they were stranded, and that the machine was their only hope of returning home. So honestly, Stare, this was right uh, down your alley. So that's why they were yeah. so willing to follow orders. That's all I've been able to work out. Perhaps our friend here can fill us in on the rest. Uh oh. Oh, uh um. I see you've caught on. Wait a minute. Stun gun. No. What? Wow. It's stun gun. It's Dimitri. Yep. Yeah, yeah stun gun. Just look at the skin collar. Odd that the bartender didn't so much as raise an eyebrow. When we walked in, I have to give credit where it's due. I never imagined you'd work out uh, so much for the showing his acting chops. I suppose I've no choice but to shut you up for good. Oh shit! We oh shit! We got the mystery double shot. Mm-hmm. The yep. whole story. Dimitri uh, Allen, you've been watching us the whole time. Okay, let me try this. I wish to do a challenge to a professor, former woman, and no part of this conversation. Bumbling? The bumbling? I'll show you bumbling. You would be wise for all to stay right where you are. You see, I've placed this restaurant with enough explosives to level the place. Are you out of your mind? We'll all die, even you. Oh, tough? no, 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 no. I'm going to walk out of this place. Unharmed. You see, I pressed this switch here. I activated a series of sensors embedded in the floor. The sensors don't respond to my movement, but they'll trigger the charts the second you touch one. This place is a minefield! I see you're catching on. Now, I'm going to stroll out the door and Leave the life behind. Stay as long as you like. Right. Just remember that when you decide to leave, you'll see your fate. It would seem that you've bested me, Dimitri. There's no challenge to be had here. Not exactly, Professor. This piece of paper contains the location of every sensor in the room. All you need to know is how to find it. Well, I suppose this makes it more of a fair contest. Oh, shit. Find all the sensors, the numbers written above to the left oh, of the map God. indicate it's, the number of sensors. We're, we're probably minefield! You need to call them and roll directly. Oh! Derive the location of all sensors using the no, information. No, no, wait. Mark the no, wait a minute. Minesweeper. 
Minesweeper. Yeah, Minesweeper, yeah. No, wait, it's not Minesweeper. We're playing Picross. Oh, yeah, Mario's Picross. Or Pokemon Picross. Yeah. Actually, is it Picross or. Yeah, they made a Pokemon Picross. Yeah. And already. Yeah. You can also do the cross uh, for the five uh, laterally. Oh, yeah. So you can already do for the fifth one. The. Okay. Oh, no, Wait no, I'm just uh, trying. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, oh. well done, Kershaw. It was foolish of me to make this so easy. I suppose we're free. It was surprisingly easy, unless, of course, the information you provided to me was inaccurate. What? There was no right answer. Luke, look at the positions of these sensors. Now flip the drawing over, and what does it spell? Why? Oh! Why? Well, it says, well, like when you flip it, it's like 317. Does this mean yeah. what I think it means? Yeah, it is 317. This map of the sensors is a lie, isn't it? We were going to walk straight into the sensors and die. You monster! Unless. There weren't any sensors to begin with. What? It's a fake. That's it, Dimitri, isn't it? It's true you've done some evil things, but you're not a killer. You just wanted to keep us busy so you could make your escape. Oh shit. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. That was I'm just probably trying to figure that myself. Like, okay, yeah, so, so oh, how- Oh, you dare approach me? Okay, so, so I gotta ask, uh, did I do well, uh, pointing Dimitri, or- it's, it... uh, Again, it's, it's gonna be tough, cause- it, it's hard. It's it, nobody can emulate Liam, Liam O'Brien. It's going to be no. very hard. Well, then, then I'll le yeah. leave it. Then I'll you're leave fine, it to you. Dude. You're fine. No, you're fine. You're fine okay. being stung, no, but no, I'm late yeah. after all. So that's yeah. right. Vast versus reward points, which I cannot do. Okay. I work things out on my own this far, but I need you to help. It's like our fighting games, Vest. Yeah. You must have had some oh. reason for concocting a scheme this wild. I. I had a very good reason. It all started about ten years ago. Bill Hawks and I were dun, friends, dun, dun. colleagues. We worked in the same lab researching time travel. Our research meant everything to us. We poured our hearts and souls into uncovering the secrets of space and time. After months of progress, we had built ourselves a prototype. In case any of the chat didn't uh, pick that up, yeah, you mentioned Bill Hawks. Finally, time the to Prime test Minister. our work with a human subject. Bill thought we should use Claire as the first test subject. She was our lab assistant. I, of course, vehemently opposed this idea. I loved yeah. her too, you see. And though she There's something about Claire. Experiments, <laughs> I didn't want to risk her getting hurt in the experiment. Hmm. Around this time, I noticed a flaw in the design of our machine. I begged Bill to postpone the experiment, but he wouldn't hear of it. Sometime after the accident, I made a startling discovery. Unbeknownst to me, Bill had made a deal to sell the technology behind the machine's power source. Apparently, a large corporation had offered him a very impressive sum. Bill knew the machine wasn't ready for a human subject, but he needed to demonstrate its viability. We all know the tragic results of his decision. By the time I realized Bill planned to go ahead with the experiment, it was too late to stop. Yeah, and then the apartment got destroyed next to it.
because of Bill's greed, Claire was lost to me forever. Life is full of cruel twists. In the blink of an eye, I lost my life's work and the love of my life. To say I was a broken man would be an understatement. Bill, on the other hand, made a full recovery from his injuries. He also completed the deal with the corporation, pocketing more money than most people see in a lifetime. He used his newfound fortune to climb the political ladder to the very top. He killed Claire and was rewarded with the most powerful seat in government. If that's not a cruel joke, I don't know what it is. I can't pretend I wasn't bitter, and it was this bitterness that sent me back to my research. I thought that if I could travel to the past, I could rob Bill of all that he had won. Oh, of course, there was another reason why I wanted to go back in time, to save Claire from her fate. Surely you understand, Herschel. Claire is no longer with us. There's nothing anyone can do to turn back time. Do you really believe that? I don't want to, but I do. I have just one more question for you. What is it? Someone's been using you as a pawn. Are you aware of this? What are you talking about? Someone here masterminded a scheme even more awful than yours, Dimitri. And that person is there! Future Luke! Uh oh, not, it, not anymore. Professor. Evil Sterico. No, there's no mistake here. And there's no hiding it anymore. Oh. Or should I call you Clive? Clive? Oh! Fuck you, Clive! So time to put together the pieces <laughs> of your plan. <laughs> but when I finally understood it all, the sheer evil of it sent a chill down my spine. What is he talking about, Clive? Ah! Uh, look at that look. You kept your true intentions hidden from everyone, Clive. Even your partner, Dimitri. And Sterico was the villain all along. Wow, that... What are you saying, Herschel? <sighs> Clive well, is aiming for revenge on a massive scale. And you are nothing more than a pawn, Dimitri. Tremendous work, Professor. You found me out. Well then. Speaking in riddles, Layton. What's this all about? Clive, you lived next door to the lab that exploded ten years ago. The I know it's a child then. That blast demolished half of the building you lived in. Reports indicate that ten people were killed in the explosion, two of whom were your parents. It must have been a terrible shock. In the span of a few seconds, you lost your family and your home. When the initial shock wore off, it was replaced with anger. You became obsessed with exacting revenge on those who had wronged you. <sighs> you were lucky enough to be adopted by a kindly woman in her golden years, Constance Dove. Miss Dove's extreme kindness was matched in scale only by the enormous fortune she possessed. You two lived quite happily as a family for a time. Sadly, it wasn't to last. Miss Dove departed from this world five short years later, leaving her fortune to you. Before long, you graduated from secondary school and took a part-time job at a prominent newspaper. Considering your sizable inheritance, I don't think you took the job for pocket money. You were searching for... So yeah, because he looked like a newsboy. Yeah. Using the newspaper's <laughs> resources, you finally hunted down the men responsible for your misery. You knew that both Bill Hawks and Dimitri Allen were responsible for the explosion. Armed with this information, you concocted a plan to avenge your parents. First, you befriended Dimitri and convinced him to resume his research on the time machine. Then, you used your inheritance to set up this elaborate facsimile of London. With your stage in place, you used your contacts in the press to find the best scientists in the country. After all, you would need quite a bit of help to complete this time machine. 
You then proceeded to lure these brilliant men into your trap. However, unbeknownst to Dimitri, most of your staff were not working on the time machine. What? Clive had secretly reassigned many of the scientists to a different project. You might think of it as his pet project. We don't have all day, Leighton. What was the second project? A weapon designed to cause... See, he knew it. What? I knew He was making a Metal Gear. Oh, shit. A weapon. Is this true, Clive? <laughs> Damn it, Steer. <laughs> and I thought scientists were supposed to be observant. While you focused on your machine, I had a different goal. Though some may call it revenge, I prefer to think of it as justice over single-minded scientists and corrupt politicians. What are you saying, Clive? Enough explanations. Let me show you. There goes Dasher. Hey! And nobody stop me! <laughs> oh, poor little Luke. All right, been a little fish. Oh man, I cannot believe I'm both the good guy and the bad guy. <laughs> huh. Oh, we got on that boat quick. Worst night boat. Yeah. Professor, what are we going to do? Death war and. Let me oh. look over there. I think. I think well. We need a light. Oh. Oh. The lighthouse. Oh. It's. It's. Metal Gear. Oh. Oh. Metal Gear. Luke, get me my infinite ammo bandana. Come talk. Dude. Holy. So this is this is this is Metal Gear, Clive. No. Oh wow. No. Oh. Oh, wait, no, that's not, that's not this, this is this is freaking this is so real. moving castle on steroids. Yeah, this is a castle. Professor, what is that thing? It seems as if Clive has been working on some sort of mobile fortress. We're strapped up here. We got to save her. Damn it, Stuart. Okay. No, so he's we has gotta be careful because if, if this fortress stays open long enough, Raiden's gonna come around with a sword. Oh no. <laughs> uh, the rules of but do you have a Raiden? Okay. So this is a weapon Clive was building. Did you know about this before? No, though I suspected someone building weapons behind Dimitri's back, I never imagined the part of all that breaches would be this atrocity. Wait, in any case, this place is dangerous. You must leave here at once. Uh, but I... what about you? I'm going after Flora. Are you mad? Look at the thing. You could be killed. And your point? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. That maniac Clio has been building a war machine under London this whole time. What's madness? I'll bring it back to the Empire. Isn't this usually when you like to show about? You're a bank to save floor, aren't you? Like me? Of course, but how do I gain access to the fortress interior? No, freaking no, don't care. We could try scaling one of its legs. Foolish boy, you'd be squashed harder than a pancake. Wait, I love to get food so go. Listen, Lane, I did a little work on that car of yours. You can use it to get to the fortress. A flying oh. machine, you say? But I thought it was just a dead piece to make us believe I we're, we're in the that. future. No, it works, and, you're, and it's waiting for you on top of the hill over there. Hurry! Also, I want payment. Hey, thanks, Paul. Don't <laughs> you there, thank you. Don't you get almost along me, Lightning. Oh, I'm only doing this for Flora. What? I'm doing it for Celeste. 
Oh, and also, Paul, you don't get your priority straight, Paul. I thought you were doing for Celeste. Uh, 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 Don Paul, Don Paul, Don Paul Paul was a kitty. The late time of uh, is looking great. Uh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Before we go anywhere, well, after that, our dear friend Dash. Said, Sorry, you... my headset is. Yeah. Go ahead, Dash. Um, uh, there's one thing I need to confess, like. Too embarrassing. Uh, sorry. I, I didn't ca catch up on what you said, sir. My headphones glitched out on me. Oh, yeah. So, the thing is that Layton was potentially... Uh, I would say that he was potentially right for Clive that could have a potion to build this whole thing, but... One individual couldn't have enough money to not only build a underground city, but also not have any sort of connection, like to and actors make it hidden from so much stuff from the government or some part of shady. When you think about it, why would you build a gigantic fortress? Yes, it's like just... he could have just hired someone to beat the shit out of Dimitri and be done with. Remember that that's not his super villain origins. Too easy for one thing. Yeah, look at Don Paul. It's like again, they they have to be flashy because remember, uh, Clive's super super villain origins was the explosion. Whereas for Don Paul, it was watching uh, the love of his life be taken from him from Leighton. Yeah. And then hearing that she's dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The more it's I think about it, the more I'm just too realistic. The truth is, your car almost slipped, but I don't know which screw. Oh, great. Jeez. We'll go uh, call bloody triple A. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This but the whole car could car. fall apart. What are we going to do? I can drive up there. No need to get so thrilled. We can figure it out. One of these screws is just sure to do the trick. Oh, it's a puzzle. It's, it's a puzzle. By the nice screw. Oh, Only one of the six screws shown below A, B, C, D, E, or F will fit properly in the threaded hole. The width of the hole matches the thickness of all the screws, so don't worry about that. Your only tool is a flathead screwdriver now. Hurry, you don't have much time. Uh, I I would assume it be B, because because this is an illusion because the flathead is flat what we go yeah. right here. So yeah. it's this. Yeah, true. That should do the trick. No, it's not! Nope. Oh, wow, they played. What the trap? What sound? You think flathead screwdrivers are. The screws of flathead screwdrivers look like C. A flathead screwdriver, okay. So A, C. D or E. Yeah. But. It could be. It could be. Because F is a. Uh. No, because that's more of a washer. Mm hmm Yeah. Well, guess what happened? You have the same thickness, too. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, mm. And here's the guess. thing. Try we you. cannot have A, because it's, I think, in the reverse. When you take in the spin... Oh. And then yeah, the lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Yeah. So and I then, think you B. see the... It, yeah, it's D because look at how mm -hmm. thick how, the distance between each line. It couldn't be D, but D. It couldn't be E because it has too many lines. He's too yeah, it'd be too loose. So no, too tight. Yeah. Or, no. D. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get these D's. That should do yeah. the trick. Yep. Just oh, as I suspected. So, that's such a nice fortress for Sergio. Yeah. That's it. I hurry and get the car moving. Oh, no. This is the one, I'm sure of it. For a month, I'm trying to give it to you, like, that's fine with me. So, is the car ready to ride now? No, it's not. You bet it is, boy. Gentlemen, your chariot awaits. I hope Clive's dressed up in a superhero, uh, super villain outfit. Okay. I hope so, too. With you. Don't worry, Celeste. We'll take care of this. Time's running out. Don't be afraid to floor it. Understood. Lord Layton, have you gone insane? Yes. 
Damn! Oh, he's oh destroyed the pagoda. <laughs> Come on, Batman and Robin. Ah! <laughs> oh! Layman and Luke. Layman. Oh shit! That was. That was good. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring out his uh, bad guys. We're gonna have a big comic sans fight. But but no no. In all honesty, this like. This action sequence is by far uh, the uh, most amazing. The 3D CG is not bad. Yeah. yeah, it's really good for the uh, well, style. Priority yeah. Is finding where Clive it's is it's like this is what we're like. Professor Layton has done a big number on level, level five. Know, the only so, thing we're missing now is Starugalot, and I'm sure he's going to play a part in the taking down Clive. Nah, I, I I don't, no, that's actually a pet role. For hit yeah, by the hinder coins. Yeah, I don't think Sparugula would do a lot of. I don't think he would be able to fight or even just do any harm. <laughs> He's too kind for that. Yeah, the the thing is, like the sound point is, is like the cinematics, like, and there is a mm -hmm. lot of them. And I am glad I get to get to watch them because. Because like this is like oh like one part visual novel and the other part like a puzzle collection. Mm -hmm. So it's a more like an uh, an old school adventure game like on the PC. Yes, it, like, like that, that, it's Lucas Art, that. Lucas it's Arts a, kind. Ah oh, yeah, yeah, it's actually a point and click adventure game, but instead yeah. it's all more focused on the puzzle and the drama. So yeah, let's go, let's go. Well, I tell you the drama. Yes. Do it best. First things first. Let's find a way in. Okay. Yeah, it's so sad for Big Luke. He, he was like the source is locked with the puzzle. I wouldn't expect anything less from Clive. It's clear we're not getting inside without doing some thinking. Clive, clown, clown to Clive. Swap the lock. The door below is sealed shut with a mysterious lock using six dials that can be swapped and rotated to open the door. Arrange the dials so the gems bordering each other, both horizontally and vertically, are the same color. Mm hmm. Oh, I like these steps. Yeah. Hey, Rabbi, can I need myself some tea? Yeah. No, wait a minute. Yeah, so that one, you have to be have green on the bottom, right? Yeah. So, I got it. Wait, no, that. Okay. Because you have okay. to have blue. Uh, no, I guess you have to. Have, you see where the blue is? Yeah. No, I I got that. Hmm. No, because you, yeah, because you need green on the, you need two greens on the bottom. You need two reds on the top, so uh, mm -hmm. A needs to be where the, it was, where it was before, because it had right, right there. Okay, just yeah, uh, uh, so then B, yeah, see B aligns with where C was. See, that's okay. It's no wait, there's. Ah, shit, I forgot. It's... What? Who's on the background? That's Stir. He, uh... he must be having a blast of his time. <laughs> okay, so yeah, A, okay. Okay. Yeah, E, there we go. Oh, so, yeah, yeah we should need the red. Okay, uh-huh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've got a good feeling about this one. Yep. Take that. Just as I suspected. Yeah. Hmm. Sure. Resolution. Resolution. Excellent. With the puzzle solved, we're free to go in. Great. Then let's head in. All right. I'm going to miss the late mobile. This appears to be some sort of elevator. I think we can use it to move about the fortress. But there are so many buttons. I don't have the slightest clue how to operate it. Oh, I don't know that. You two step away from the transport pod. Oh no, we've been spotted. We've come here for the girl Clive kidnapped. Tell us where Flora is at once. 
Lockjaw. Uh, you must mean that pretty thing the boss dragged back here. The boss? So you've been working for Clive all along? Well, yeah. Dimitri was nothing but a puppet. Clive's been our employer from day one. That's why Bostro didn't attack us. Ah, it all makes sense now. We threw your little friend in the ventilation room. Not that you'll be able to reach us. I wouldn't be so sure about that. I dare you Holy think. crap! Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. What's to stop us from taking this transport pod to the ventilation room? You've been ever so kind as to leave us an explanation of how to turn on the device. <laughs> I did not. Oh, except for, the, except for that note. No worries. So, as it is written in an uncrackable code. Try it if you want, but you'll never figure out the instructions. Oh my god, he left never the instructions. In your life. To open the door, you'll need to press the numerical buttons according to the crypt's instructions. Open with a 2, but leave the 4. Pressing just the 2 button and leaving the 4 button untouched doesn't work, so how exactly are you supposed to open this door? 3! Oh, no. oh, no. 2. That yep, should make it as the number 2. <laughs> yeah, that's... That was an easy one. On the call. <laughs> 3. And then you would leave for bun. There, I'm sure the door will be opening any moment now. I know. Well, my... Hey, stop! You guys aren't allowed to go in there! Stop right there! And how are you going to stop us? You're just a talking head! Come on, Professor! Let's go find floor! Let's... And... The ventilation room appears to be located on the 12th floor. Don't you dare step inside there! If you do, you'll make sure... I'll make sure you regret it! How? By, by yelling at us? Of course. That's the only thing I can do. I don't know what Stair is going to do to us. This is a map of the entire fortress. Oh, look! There's a ventilation room. It looks like we can travel there with the press of a button. Let's be off. Uh, oh! Ventilation. That's probably. I think this is the room we're looking for. Laura must be inside of this big tank here. I pray that she's unharmed. Let's head in. Four! Ooh. Oh, thank goodness you're here. You poor girl, hang on for just another second. Flora, we'll get you out of there. You put her. Oh, great. The, this weird grass prison has another of those puzzle locks on it. I can't stand to see Flora in this awful thing. Let's solve this puzzle quickly. Quickly as we should. And then suddenly the puzzle was back. Cut open, the start from a button, and follow the arrows from one button to the next. Find the one button that will lead you through the other buttons on the panel. Can you figure out which button leads to all the rest? Okay. So we have to figure out the one button that will let it have us push all the buttons. Okay, we played that uh, puzzle before, no, so. Not that one. No, 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 I, I, I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, okay. Yeah, we reverse everything. Wait, no, that's. Is that it? What if you stop? Started from the lower right corner. Oh yeah, yeah, he's. No, he's pretty much on it. Yeah, you yeah. got everything right. There. Let's see if I've got this right. I didn't take that. Well, that's settled. Take a look. That's <laughs> cool, man. You can yeah, sorry. It's so awesome. You can think of that reverse to solve it. All right, Flora. I'm opening this up. Take a fresh out. I'm so glad to see you. Oh. Oh. Dialogue. No need to worry. Yeah. You're safe now, dear. But you can't stay here. Lead the way. Yeah, let's go. You two head straight back to the car. I'll meet you there after I put a stop to this contraption. No way! I'm your apprentice, which means I can't just let you plunge headlong into danger without me. And I'm going too. I can't let you do this. And I can't let you go it alone. Yeah, what he said. 
see I can't change your mind. Come along if you must, but be careful. Are we going to find Clive? Indeed, but our time is running out, so let's hurry. Just got her butt kidnapped. And she wants to say someone's coming. Hide yourselves as best you can. But there's nowhere to hide. Quick, duck behind that piece of machinery over there. Right. Oh, lock shot. Ah, great, he's gone. Ah. Fish shot. Maybe that's because you went until uh, late and yeah. where to find her, you baby? Would you give it a rest already? Yeah, I missed this. If you going on and on about it isn't helping. Whatever. The boy and the dog got to go over the surveillance room and tell Clive we lost the girl. Alright, why are you doing that? I'll go chase that life with these buddies. You ran into a SpongeBob gangster. Did you hear that, Professor? Clive's in the surveillance room. You should mark over there and demand an apology from him. Give him a good start. Flora, that man just adopted you. You might not want to hold your breath for an apology. You're right. What an ill-mannered brute. Shoot him in the head. Back to the subject at hand. Let's just focus on getting to the surveillance room. Bye, ladies. All right. Still, it was awful thing you did. I deserve an apology. Do you think you got some? Yes, Oh, for the love of... <laughs> they okay. just took off without her. <laughs> Yet again. And she gets keep nap again. Ah. Oh. Aha! You can't hide from me, brother! Oh no! We've been spotted again! You two are awful at hiding things. Relax, Luke. There's little he can do from behind that monitor. Now it's off to the surveillance room. Shows you how much you know. You need the key code to go find the surveillance room. Oh my yeah. god. But it was I. Here. Without it, it ain't going nowhere. Log oh, is so stupid. Well then, we'll simply have to decipher the key code for ourselves. Thanks for the tip. Sure. Uh, uh oh. Oh, here we go again. So if you have the password, all you need to do is fit together the ten pieces below. Oh boy. Oh oh oh, and, and we have to rotate it. Great. Uh oh. Well, it's gonna spell something at least. Yep. Also. Man, that lockjaw is so gonna get his lockjaw. Yeah, you don't hire. <laughs> oh, boy. Get over here, you goddamn jaw! I am so fired, it's, it's not even funny. I'm gonna be devoid of life. He's gonna kill me! Get over here! <laughs> you just see no, Clive with a baseball bat. Oh, got the pain! Uh. <laughs> Clive turns into his real form, Stur Sturico. Ah, yeah. <laughs> just a tiny purple black cat. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, ah. My goodness gracious, Greg. <laughs> I don't have one of them. Uh, and then come Louis. Hmm. But you know what? Since we can talk a yeah, little bit yeah. more in this puzzle. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, there. The Prime Minister, the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he was in part the whole thing that caused everything. Yeah, yeah his greed because he he sold it to Saudi investors. That's probably yeah. who he sold well, it to. That, that's all, but... Yeah, why? he was responsible for Claire being the human exper uh, guinea pig for uh, the time machine. It wasn't like, but also the murderer of pretty much everyone, including Clive's parents. Mm-hmm. Right. But Clive blames Dimitri for being responsible for it too, because mm -hmm. Dimitri was a wuss and didn't, you know, say no enough. Well, that looks like a seven almost. What? Seven? Yeah, yeah, so. that does. And that's a, that might be a two, so it's a two next week. But then, mm. where is Bill Hawk? <laughs> Uh, he's still somewhere. Uh, he's still being held by Clyde. There we go. Twenty-seven. Mm -hmm. no, I think it's a... So if he's still held up by that idiot, well, by my, by me. So what is 
What is he gonna do once uh, we stop them? Is he going to still be the prime minister? Probably not. No, uh, uh Chumley would, uh, light, arrest him. But... Chumley. Yeah, oh, step my. down as prime minister. It'd be a big political so... mess. Uh... Hmm. Because that's a one. Two ones. Uh, on yeah, yeah, see right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. So it's one, um, one. Zero, one, 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 one. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, and then, uh... That's another yeah, so zero. Let, let me just uh keep on uh trying yeah, to yeah, get... there you go. Yeah, no, no, you had it, yeah. Okay. Mm hmm No. Oh, okay. Yes, so... yes, yes, right there. Mm -hmm. Zero oh, eight. Zero eight one one two seven. One one two seven. Seven. Yep. yep, you got it. Let's okay. see if I've got this right. Wait. Satisfy like a puzzle solved. All right. Well, I suppose that takes care of that. Oh man, Clive is gonna have my height for this. If you're scared, that guy, why don't you just abandon ship? Hmm. Wait. What did you say? I said you might as well run away. If you're gonna get, if you're gonna get punished either way. You know, that's so crazy, I think I might just try it. <laughs> I'm out of here later, you guys. I can't believe that actually kidding? worked. <laughs> Sarah, what are you paying these guys? Uh, uh, a golden uh, bullet? To the surveillance. Oh, ah, shit, you. Oh, fish eye. Hmm. <laughs> it's about time you showed up. I was beginning to think Clive just might be off. When Watchdog burned him off, we lost you there for a second. Clive certainly has it all figured out, doesn't he? So what did he send you here for? Isn't it obvious? I'm the muscle. And normally right about now when I show you just how good I am with the nut. Professor, watch out! Get behind me, Luke and Flora. Mm. I didn't get stabbed. Now, now, no need to burn it. The only damn door in your way today is a puzzle. Oh, cat's eye view. My, oh my goodness, why did I hide Place cat's guys? eye stones in the round spots below. The only one oh. is that no four stones can form a square rectangle either horizontally or vertically. Tap the icon, there are 16 spots in the puzzle, which is the maximum number of stones you can place following the above rule. Hmm. Well then. So we have to use cat's eyes. Oh, it's so adorable! Yeah, not, not... I need... Okay, so what, what is the goal of this puzzle? Uh, what is the what maximum, is maximum number of stones you can place while following the above rule? Admit that number as your answer. Okay. A complete. So that would okay. be square. He need a complete. Either <laughs> horizontally or vertically. So we can only do it with complete squares and rectangles. A incomplete square or rectangle with stones at, at one, only three corners is fine. Yeah, we can't make a four square. square. Oh, good God. Uh. Okay. Yes, um, yes. Okay, I I'm definitely gonna, gonna like uh, put this out, put this out in a in a chat for for as a separate pick because like mm -hmm. this is something something you you, you all have to memorize. Here, put in a mystery chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. All right, so one. Hmm. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Be right back, guys. Okay. So let me go ahead and here. I, I'm gonna go go go. I'm gonna go with Dasher's uh, plan. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two. Wait. So there's sixteen um, squares altogether. Yeah, there are sixteen squares, but that doesn't mean you can make sixteen. No, 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 you can't. Yeah. Um. 
over here. We can just give the kid a sprite. So oh, nice. Sprite for all. But yeah. So you can only have. So the way that they show is like you, uh, where the cat size is, like in the first example, would be like you could do one and three, and then six in the middle, or you mm -hmm. could do one and three and nine, or you can do one or one and six, but you ha you can't make a four square. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta get gonna. Now I I gotta memorize this. Oh boy. Yep. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So for the for the cat's eye rule, like, can you click on the um, things fast? Yeah. yeah, you can. Wait a minute. Yeah. So the cat's eyes are orange and green. Huh. Didn't know that, Jericho. Yay. Yeah, so so the odd numbers are... No, wait. Yeah, the odd numbers are orange. And the... Gee, no, no, no. The, um, it's one and two, yeah. <laughs> so that's an incomplete square, right? Alright. So oh. right now, I'm gonna do the fancy thing and put my monitor horizontally. What... Can you, can you add... Oh, you have one of those fancy monitors. I see. Nice, Jerry. Uh, no, no, no. It's essentially just a old uh, 2011 monitor, <laughs> but I just put it on the side. No, there, there's certain monitors that I know at businesses that they can turn vertically, so when you need to sign stuff. Oh, these one, no. It's, it's just that my monitor is attached to a support arm. Nice. Yeah. And so now it's vertically, and I can... Wow, that's weird! <laughs> okay, so... We gotta count how many... Okay. The net maximum number of stones I, you can place while following the above rule. So, not every single uh, square can be filled, so we can only do so many. Mm -hmm. Uh, no four stones can form a square or rectangle, either horizontally or vertically. Okay, so they don't have to worry about diagonal. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. This this so has follow the diagram. If you take out the first green one, Vess, okay. and then the the green one next to the two orange ones. So okay. take out number seven. No, no, no. Put that one back, and put uh, yeah. So that uh, di uh, that correlates to the first diagram. So that would that would count. Then another one that counts is if you do uh, 9, 10, and you take out... No, no, put 9 and 10 back, and you, you take out 13. So that correlates to 1 as well. Uh, another one that you could do... So that, that correlates to some. I'm just trying to think if there's any other ones that you can do that um, to not have four, a uh, four square. Hmm. So how many stones so you can put? Three. Um, well, um, you can make one that has three stones. And it is fine. Okay. What about nine? Uh, 
No, because that's to be three, remember? Yeah, but then oh. if we can do three, what about nine? There's 16 spot after all. <laughs> oh, what about uh, 16, Vass, if you take that one out? So it, it would be like 12, right? Yeah. Mm. All right. Let's hope for the best. Survey says. I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh no! Close. Well, if at first you don't succeed. But yeah, event answers. Okay. So well. maybe get rid of one more. Oh, you see, it was four across. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So one, two. Yeah. So you can't have you can't have a row that has four, uh, uh four oh. cat size. Oh shit! Yeah. So then it, it would be like eleven. Then. Yes. Okay. That well, should do the trick. No. Nope. Well, if it first. But if we go with see. unpaired numbers, we could go with nine. True. Yeah. Like, let's. Yeah, because those seems to be odd numbers. Let's see if I've got this right. It is. That's her. That's her was right. Like a puzzle solved. Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, so, oh, you know, oh, look, it's like the cat's eyes make a narrow. Yo. The rule is nine. Freaking Sturco. Hmm. Here's what was wrong with the puzzle closing you down. We can pass them? Yeah, but only because God instructed me not to touch the single hair on your pretty, pretty heads. Otherwise, I'd be showing you the pointing of my knife collection right now. If you know what I mean. Everyone stay away him! He can be lying! Hey, don't worry, get orders are orders. As I said, don't get self carved. Now get moving. Boss hates being made to wait. Later. See ya. Just what is Clive planning with this machine of his? Shit. Oh, he's still wearing the same outfit. Actually, is. That's the I'm kidding, kind of cute. No kidding! This much is enormous! What could have quite be planning? Uh, the conquering the world? Wait. Nothing. Where's the force? What Wait. kind of freaking hidden thing here? Here goes nothing. Hey, so good nice boy! you to join me, Professor. Whatever it is you have planned, you can't go through with it. We know what Bill and Dimitri did. When the world learns of it, they'll be punished. You said you wanted justice. And isn't that justice enough? That's a nice sentiment. Mm -hmm. But without large-scale havoc, those fools in government will never change their ways. Listen to yourself, Clive. You... Who are you to argue with me? As a reporter, I've witnessed countless tragedies firsthand. And it's clear mm. that my life is He's covered wars, you know. Yeah, true. Progress. I pretty much see witness a lot of wars. The rest of us little people are all just bumps on the <laughs> people. brighter tomorrow. The only thing hey. I fully understand is force. Oh. So you see, I have no choice but to level right. this place and rebuild it from the ground up. What you're saying is unthinkable. This conversation is over. Damn. No, Clive. Yep, Clive. Dang, goof. I uh, done goof. Oh, that's Euster. Tell me, Professor, how do you intend to get out of this one? <laughs> oh. Oh, the floor below is made of 24 tiles, especially designed so the tiles will fall away one at a time until they're all gone. Once the first tile falls, neighboring tiles, not diagonal, will fall away one by one in the following order of suits. Hearts, spades, diamonds, clubs. The first tile is set to fall. However, it's not necessarily a heart. If you can find the last tile set to fall, you can stop the floor from disappearing. Tap the last tile and then touch submit. Okay. Good evening, Miss. All you need is only to tap the last tile, mm -hmm. so... Get a memo. So it's heart, spade, diamond, club. Club. No. No, it's crossing a heart. Mm-hmm. 
it right. needs to be a heart, spade, diamond, yeah, wait, and... Go, uh, go up fast and then go right. That's a good idea. Oh, fuck. No, uh, wait. And then heart. No, you're right. Heart, spade, diamond, club. club. Heart, Ooh. heart, spade, 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 diamond, club, heart, spade, diamond, club. There you go. Heart, spade. Wait. Up, heart, spade. Diamond, club. Diamond, club. Ah, oh, yeah, see, then we're out one. Right. No, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could. Diamond, club, heart. I, I I couldn't imagine this this could be yet, but. Uh, nope. mm. That's like club heart spade. Oh wait a minute! So it w if it was a heart to start with, no, no. Mm. So should we restart it, or? Uh, so heart spade diamond club. Heart spade, diamond club, heart spade, diamond club, heart spade, diamond <laughs> club. I'm trying to think so. Uh, the first dot set to fall over is not necessarily a heart. Mm -hmm. So that means we could start at any of the symbol. Yeah. Spade, so it could be club. spade. Yeah. So we may already find who. Yeah, it might be the spade. That should do the trick. No, that's not it. Oh, I was sure my yeah, was, uh... was sound. Yeah, you have to remember the order. Oh, yeah, we were right. It's the spade that wasn't touched. Mm -hmm. It's the spade right on the heart. Yeah, yeah this yeah. one. Yeah. It's just too logical. It's the only one we can do anything with. It is! Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> we were amazing. Get what? Get the butt. Never fail to impress. Sadly, I must leave you now, as the main event is about to start. What do you mean? Curse that Sterico. <laughs> Have a good time. Ah, right, here we go. Oh. Grappling hooks. <laughs> oh, oh. Pull London down. Uh, no. Down. Or way. underground London. No, he's pulling the entire bit of London. Oh no! Oh my goodness gracious! Great. Jericho, what have you done? Ah. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're all dead. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a dream coming true. No, he will never win, but boy, he will stick out. We kind of looking for this book. Well, it's just, it's just that the, this really is going to Howl's Moving Castle territory. Yeah. But how was the overdramatic wizard? Oh, oh, dead, dead, dead. Murder, death, kill. No, Murder, death, kill. No. This is. Give me demolition man vibes. <laughs> Please, make yourselves comfortable. Sit back and relax. After all, you How won't can be one leaving cat anytime be so soon. Evil? Take a good look at London. Because this will be your last chance. <sighs> Celeste? Huh? Come with me. I know how we can stop Clyde. Concentrate on your breathing, Layton. Use the Haman. Here. All we need to do is find it and shut it down. Right, we'll cut off the power at the source. But wait, this place is huge. We don't have time to scour at all. What are we going to do? Look around you. The monitors in this control room are linked to cameras throughout the fortress. Oops. Mm, another puzzle. Perhaps they can offer us some clue as to the generator's location. Uh, no, no, you have to look at the monitors. Ah, yeah, shit, they're not puzzle. I'm battling war thunders. these monitors. Would you be able to see all parts of the fortress, Frank? Also, did you just say you say about war thunder? Yeah, I'm downloading right now that game. <laughs> 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 
You know, while they're sitting here talking, that was the people getting squished and dying. So yep. Right yeah. You're, you're downloading water. All the people are uh, on Monday are getting killed, and you're downloading Wonder Fork Thunder? Fork <laughs> Thunder. I told you this can't this cat can't be trusted. Uh, it, no, if one of the monitors is bound to be connected to the generator room. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> now we only need to figure out which one it is. And then they realize, oh shit, it's broken. <laughs> ah! This is a map of the floor housing the generator room. The locations of two camera equipped security bots are identified by the red and green arrows. To prevent its detection by Professor Leighton, Clivus ensure that the patrol routes followed by these security bots do not pass the generator room. The bots will always turn at the rounded yellow corners. Which room do the bots avoid? That's the generator room. So the rounded oh. yellow corners. Yeah, the green parts. Those are those are the robots. Yeah. Okay. This. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Also, those are a cool robot design. I'm glad I made them. <laughs> yeah. I be definitely set up a nut rack. Yeah. Still not wanting more thunder. War thunder. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you could have downloaded Warhawk. Come on. Warhog? Um. No, uh, War. Warhog is a common. War thunder. War, War Thunder, Thunder is a combination of world of like war tanks, warships, and war planes. But, but is Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, or was that only World of Tanks? It's only World of Tanks. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. So yeah. Okay. okay. This is. Oh. I know they're throwing out the hard ones. So we we have to find the right room in order to avoid being detected by robots. Um, yeah, so what does the red arrow the fucking hip coin? <laughs> there are some intersections that rounded corners that face each other, but the bots will always turn at the corner closest to them. It's telling you so the red arrow is where that bot's gonna go, so he's gonna round that corner, go left, then round that corner, oh, go oh, yeah. The green arrow then? Mm-hmm. Hmm. And then the green arrows for the other robot. So it's two robots. Oh, just a minute. Okay, and now here. Well, I remember, because it can also turn uh, that way too, up the first intersection. Yeah. Uh, for the green one, I meant. Oh. Yeah, because then it rounds that corner. Then it goes straight across, and then turns. Yeah, turns around. Then it goes down, then straight across. Yep. And then circles around, and then circles up, and then goes straight across, and then circles back to the start. Huh. So, maybe in that little area of, uh, right above it, unless we find the other patrol. What about... Um... Because we got these two right here, the first two, two and three, they have corners that the box will turn around, you can mm -hmm. select those. So, it could be either... The you think it's the one up in the, the top uh, left? Could be, yes. Yeah, because the robot won't go past that, yeah. This one's as good as sold. No, it's not. No. Damn, I thought... Back to the drawing board. This... Oh, that made that could have made sense. <clears throat> hey, if okay, we solve so... this one, we'll get over 3,500 pickerats. Nah. Uh... Okay, let's, uh, let's go with the red one again. So that one goes up and to the left. And then it curves around. And it curves around, then it goes straight across. And then it curves down. Yeah, and then it goes that right. way. Uh-huh. And then that. And then that. And then it goes up. So that's that patrol route. And the other one. Mm-hmm. Goes up. Up. Around. Uh, up again. Yeah, yeah, it goes up again. And around. Go around. Yep. And then around. 
So, yeah, going... then up, around, around. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh! What? This one. Right there. This one's as good as sold. Yep. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, that was... pick her up. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You bought it. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, there it is. That's it. Now, if all we have to do is feed these coordinates into the transport pod. Let's go. We're right behind you, Professor. Where's Laura? Uh. Now, Professor, it's with me. So, Liz, there's something that me to ask for you. Oh? What is it? Not even aware of the few minutes to get into the fortress. The professor and I had to do some pretty fancy maneuvering to get here. What well, more? Yeah, this fortress is moving now. How did you catch up with us? It's probably the truck. <laughs> hey, uh, just saying, I might be on and off for a few times. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> well, didn't you know, Luke? I'm a witch. I just hopped on my broom and flew up to the deck. Now you're just messing well, with me. Come on! Anime, I'm curious. Alright. If you're that interested, I suppose I can let you on on a little secret. Just head out the door to the deck outside. That door? Oh, we were... Oh. What? Oh, it's Don Polo's I... flying machine. It's Don Polo's flying machine. No. Oh my gosh, that's Don Polo's flying machine. Remember, he that's... cares about Celeste. That's right. I bet him to fly me up there. So he let me in and set me up. He controlled the whole thing from the ground. I didn't have to do anything amazing, right? You could say that again. That's funny, you don't seem quite as astonished, Professor. Yes, well, I already knew Paul had his machine with him. It's what he used to escape the research facility we infiltrated, is it not? No, no, that, that thing gets you, gets by you, does it, Professor? Well, he mentioned he had one. So, so now that we have Don Polo's flying machine, we can come and go from here as we please. <laughs> That's right, Luke. Aren't you thinking about abandoning our mission? Never! I just thought that it might be a good idea to drop four off somewhere safe before heading on. Oh, no, you don't. You know what? I'm staying right here. Where are you getting up again? I can't, I can't say I blame you, Flora. You got to say hello to the people you care about. Yes, but it's good to know we can return underground to take care of any unfinished oh, business. Oh, puzzles, yeah. Yeah, if we need any more puzzles. Alright, everyone, we really should we should dwaddle out here. We need to head for the generator room. We're dying down here, thank you! Oh, yes, I never thought I got it. Let's go, everyone! And so, we got a choice. Either we finish all the puzzles, or we go to the generator. We'll do now, the puzzles later. I, I, I grab I... Nah, yeah, brother. Well, it, I know it's get, it's been getting. Uh, we've been streaming for quite a while. Look, I I, I I I rather like do do the like the, the puzzles connected to the story yeah. or anything interesting we find, and yeah. not like all the optional puzzles. All right, yeah, we can just do do any puzzle, puzzle puzzle we please. So it doesn't matter. Okay, go yeah. ahead. So, um, professor, now that we have the coordinates for the generator room, where do we put them? I imagine one of the contraptions in here can take coordinates. Oh, what about the one stuck to the wall over there? It's got all, got numbers of things all over it. Ah, the one with the flashing green monitor. Yes, let's have a look at that. The bottom. Punch in those coordinates, Luke. Once you do that, we should be able to get to the generator room. Look, Professor, the button for the generator room is lit up. That means we're going to the generator room! And generate some business. We ride that the generator. And we have a puzzle. It's Darth Clive. So this is the heart of the fortress. There's a generator control panel, but it's locked away. The lock is the puzzle. Would you like to give it a shot, Professor? I'll do my best. Uh, he already did a shot. To crack oh. the security lock, you'll need to swap blocks A and B in 10 moves or fewer. You can move any piece anywhere in any direction as long as it will fit. Now get started. Mm -hmm. So 10 moves are less fast. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the goddamn ass. 
Ah, uh, whoops. Yeah, no, no, put it, uh, put it on top of it. Like, root A to the, uh, top, bottom of the third. Yeah, one. right, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, that works, that works. Now, yeah. Uh, that's already five moves left. No, not enough. Oh, there you go. Yeah, be up there. Oh, the, um, no, because uh, you, you put if you put that block up in the A, um. Wait, no, no, put that up there. Move it over to A. Oh, shoot, yeah, that's not gonna work. Mm, maybe it could. How many moves would you have had left after that? Nah, no, I don't know. Probably one. Okay, so... See, I thought this was just a sliding puzzle, but no, 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 no. I, I wouldn't you know, waste 10 coins on that. We can get that. So it's, it, it's more than just a sliding, because you can move the pieces up and down. I just thought it was left or right. Yeah. Yeah, right where you had it. It's supposed to... Hmm. Was the third one on the left? Oh, okay. One turn. Good one to the left. I'm on that bottom left one. I, I did. No, that's, uh, the very last one. The one this one? Up? Four. Alright. All right. Now... Hmm. Oh, uh, so it leaves that one locked. Yeah, it sure does. Okay. Close. Yeah, can you keep a uh, A up on top of there? Okay, yeah. No, no, I meant like when you moved that one block, keeping A up, you know, on top no, no, of the... Instead of moving them to the left, try to move those last two to the right, see what happens then. Mm -hmm. You start... Now move the third one, the, the second one, to the right. And move the right one, the first one down. But, but move B first. Yeah, move. Uh, take B and move it. Okay, where? Into the corner right. The go left. This. Damn. 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 If you could drop that top one to the bottom, so it sits on the ground, but you can't do that because they'll be blocking B. Uh, the thing is, yeah, mainly, yeah, if you go like that, because that gets right B in there. Okay, now, but move, then we move it up. Uh, yeah, no, that because it's in the way of A. Under the, there, move that one up. No, because that's the final move, you see. Because if you move that one up, then you've only got one move up. Yeah, don't have any moves left. Okay, sorry about that. Right. 
Uh, I, I really don't. Uh, let's see. So we always have to move the two middle ones. Yeah. Is it possible to move the middle ones in the opposite directions of where they are? Yeah. Try doing that and see what happens. No, the top, this one? Uh, the two middle. The two middle. Move the one left and the two and three. Right. So move in the opposite directions. Not that? Yeah. Oh, that box is in. So we'd have to move A down. Right. Um, no, because that's going to waste all our moves. Because if we have to do that, we have to move B up. Or we have to move the second one up to right. the right. Then we move B up. Yeah, it's going to take way too many moves just to get uh, B into its corner. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Reset it again. Yeah. What if you did the third one down, you move to the... You move to the left. You move the other one to the right. No, that's not gonna work. Reset. Is it possible just to move the second one, but move the third one up? They'll definitely run out of moves if you keep switching between moving A and B at some point. You're gonna need to swap A and B in one fell swoop. So you need to make a path where you can swap one with the other. Yeah. I s oh, okay, I get it now. Is it possible that moving one, like the second one, but you gotta move the third one up as soon as you move the second? We have to make, uh, we have to make it so that a path leads to both of them being able to go at from one to time. another. Yeah. So in other words, we have to, like, uh, make, make way for both of them to come through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, James. Doesn't matter if we start with A or B or the instructions today. Slide the second block from the top over to the left and move A down to the right of the third block. Move the second block all the way to the right. Slide the third block up to the left. The rest is up to you. Didn't have to. Start. Slide the second block to the left. Mm -hmm. And then. You can bring it back up. Hello. 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 Oh. So, stuck with that? Well. Yeah. Okay, so. You got 10 moves to get B into A and A into B. And one move. And one fell through. Mm hmm. So, and then you can get um, A into um, so you, you move A and B together. So yeah, move. Uh -huh. Right. Ooh, that was close. What if we what if we moved A or sorry no what if we moved the lower block then put B down and then you could have moved yeah see if you would have moved A right there oh, put B oh, down oh, 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 that block oh. goes over there B yeah up. yeah yes yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that was the that was the uh, nice nice you're nice. welcome I suspect oh yeah, I saw it. I oh, saw it. oh bravo oh. Oh. you're welcome oh, yeah. Yeah, you're I think welcome. I've done it stand back everyone Darth Clive might be coming out. I sense disturbance in the force. My word! Oh, it's Bill Hooks. He was powering this machine. What? Is that the Prime Minister? <laughs> I knew you'd find.
find your way here sooner or later. Though, if you're hoping to find our fearless leader, Hologram. I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. I know how you'd like to play the hero, but I'd advise you not to get any foolish ideas. You see, the Prime Minister is perched on a very special seat. And should you try to move him from that pod, this whole fortress will... Why is it playing Burn Nibelheim theme? <laughs> also, I see, this does look like the Genova Chamber. Yeah. Of course, London's getting leveled either way. Clive was super off all along. But I have work to do. Another that cat has a one wing behind it. Look at the device! It looks like the monitor detonator is wired to monitor the Prime Minister's heartbeat. If the sound of his heartbeat disappears, the detonation switch will go off. Oh, you know what this is, Vad? This is like yeah. uh, those, uh, the how the Vad guys would set up the bomb things in the old speed movies. Oh, you know, yeah. like if the heartbeat goes below well, a certain thing, it'll blow up. Perhaps we can sever the bomb somehow. I wouldn't do that, Professor. See how the, there are two sets of wire in the circuit there? I don't think we'd be able to get both sets before the device reacts. Pop quiz, Hotshot. Amazing, Celeste. You obviously possess a better understanding of these mechanics than I. Your sister would be very proud. Oh, I just had an idea. What if we use this? A clock. Oh. This is the pocket watch I gave Claire ages ago. And here I thought it had been lost in the explosion. No. I actually found it when cleaning up some Claire things after the act. Unfortunately, the watch has been broken since I found it. No matter how much I whined, it never since to seemed to run for more than 10 minutes. I see where you're going with this, Celeste. You're suggesting we replace the sound of the Prime Minister's heart with that of the pocket watch. So it doesn't explode. It, exactly. It's risky, but it might be the only option we got. We'll need to disconnect the circuit from the Prime Minister and attach it to a watch in one fell swoop. But even if we succeed, the watch will stop running in 10 minutes and the whole fortress will explode anyway. If we could end up putting people in London in real danger. <laughs> like they are now. Look, if we take no action, London will face a greater danger than any explosion. This is our only shot at stopping Clive. The chances of success are slim, but we must try. A real heart swapper. Replace oh. the, uh, Bill Hawks's heart with a watch. There are two long wires connecting a monitoring device at the Prime Minister's heart center. If you swap the wires connected to the pocket watch with the wires connected to the monitoring device in a single move. Swap only two blocks to connect the wires from the monitoring device at the top of the screen below the pocket watch at the right time. Okay, so Give only two? So only so two? So if you cut the blue wire, it'll explode, but if you cut the yellow wire, we're all good. Okay, oh, so... Man. So we gotta find find a switch room. Oh, you know, Vass, you and me need to play that sometime. The uh, uh, well, everybody uh, keep talking and nobody dies, or that that bomb uh, defusal game. Oh yeah. Uh, keep talking and nobody explode. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've seen that game. That game was complicated and hard. <sighs> okay, let's see the wire set up. Um, so we go by the the watch. Yeah, as long as I think you had it right, Vass. I think it was. But... Yeah, it's, it, it seems right because they all are, they're all matching up. No, they're like uh, only to find anything similar to this. Also, heart shaped Bill Hawks. I never thought I'd see that. Yeah. yeah. Really I'm trying to find something. This is my one. This is. This is. So you just have to replace two parts, yeah. Okay. We gotta find something that is similar to that. Mm -hmm. Ow. There you go. No, we gotta find something that that doesn't. Wait, what? Yeah, it's right there. Uh, uh okay. Yeah, so. So as long as the uh, timer's connected to the bomb and not Bill's heart. I've got a good feeling about this one. Yeah. That that was uh, sudden. I was just suddenly, suddenly just uh. Yeah. 
Blue wires. Yeah, it was blue wires and red wires. A typical bomb setup. Professor, that's it. The watch is connected now. Yes, but our work is far from over. Mm -hmm. Freaking Sterico going all one wing <laughs> angel on us. <laughs> oh my. Epilogue. Final chapter, boys. Now, here we go. We've got ten minutes to get out of here before the fortress explodes. Now what? We need to reverse the energy flow. That will break the generator and shut Pray for the holy materia. <laughs> How are we going to do that? I have an idea. Look over here. Oh, will the generator? These keys are form the core of the generator. If we could just reverse the way they move. We can effectively overload the fortress power supply, thus putting a halt to Clive's plan. I see you've been thinking about this on your own. Is there anything you don't know, Professor? A gentleman must have his hobbies. It just so happens that I have a small interest in machines. Amazing, Professor. It's too hard to that way just yet, Luke. If we fail here, many lists may still be lost. Are you up for the challenge, Professor? Yes. Uh, Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Okay. Let's see if you can. We gotta, we gotta take Max Jericho. Wow. Yeah, Reverse rotation. <laughs> right, seriously, 80. it's the Nibelheim theme. System of gears are shown. Gear A turns in the direction of its red arrow, which currently causes gear B to turn. Oh, we found this before. Yep. Utilize yeah. this group to alter the system so that gear B turns in the direction of its green arrow. You don't necessarily need to cause all the groups, uh, all of the groups. Oh, you don't have to use all of them. Yeah, we, we uh, wasn't it the Vakoda who did this puzzle? Oh, it was for the it was for the bridge, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, I remember now. The the dragon bridge. Yeah. I think it, we'd also rotate them. Mhm. Mm so, let me just uh, think. All right. So, we just have to make it so that we're only moving gear B, not gear A. Right. And we don't have to use all of them. Okay. So this is so just uh As long as nothing is making gear A or uh, gear A move. Yeah, I I know. Mm, it's maybe, yeah, I think that might work. Hmm. Just... Oh, I think you had it right the first time. Are you sure? Well, you have to make sure it, it's you're trying to make gear B this... rotate. Well, it doesn't fit. Mm, true. Mm. Mm -hmm. What about uh, using B group? Okay, now B group. I might try. This yeah, yeah, my... yeah. Right. No, but, you know, because be, it can't be touching the lower. Uh, left gear. Can you use another one? Because I said you can. You don't have to use all of them, but could you use two? Yeah, you are right. No, no, yeah. I was saying you can't put it there because again, we can't turn gear turn A. Yeah, you know, and then what about? Because does B fit underneath it? No, that's turning A. What about using A gear? Yeah, we haven't tried that one. Okay, so the hint coin. It's up. Right. can't function probably if they're overlapping, so don't bother trying to stack them on each other. What if we're trying to... Okay. If you link an odd number of gears between two main gears, the two main gears will rotate in the same direction, conversely, and... and even number of gears linked between two main gears will cause the two main gears to rotate the opposite. There are a lot of gears to count in this puzzle, but try adding them up. No. Perfect. You don't need to use gear group A. Yeah, I, I figured it's like, I think gear group A, so either B or C was the ones that we need to use. 
Could it be this? That might, yeah, that might be it. Give it a shot. That should do the trick. No. Because it's turning A. If at first you don't succeed. Because mm. we're trying to make it so that only B is turning. Maybe like this? Yeah, yeah, maybe like that. Yeah, yeah, like that. You could put to, to A as well, because he's... No, you, you, can't, no, then you, you can't have A move, it's you moving B. I've got a good feeling about this one. No! Well, if at first you don't succeed... Ah, 64! You can't move it closer? No, I guess you just can't be over that. Say, why don't you put B where, like, you put it in... Nah. No, 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 Vass, you can't use A. Remember, so the hint said you can't use A at all. Yeah, I'm trying! Uh, Vass? Okay, yes? Yeah, but instead of connecting it to B, connect it to A. No, 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 they... no, no, no. So you connect the B set to A. Uh, you don't have to invert it. You just put it. You just... No, 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 no. No, he means sense. connect B to A uh, gear, the big A. Yeah, you, you know, like that. And then you let C. No, 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 no. Let it where it was. And then spin it, yeah, like that. No, no, no. Uh, no. Let it be. Upside down. Okay, so upside down. Yep, like that. Then you use C in the state that it is, and then boom. Mm. Okay, let's get, get, get it. There we go! Oh yeah, because like you kept saying, don't you? Yeah, you didn't have to use the A gear. Mm. Yep. Okay, here we go! What was that? Reversing the energy flow has caused the fortress to start destroying itself. Oh no! We've got to get out of here right now. Okay, we're escaping. Ooh, he going. The transfer pod doesn't seem to be working. The fortress is tearing itself apart and causing some of the system to go off the rails. So it's going it's gonna fall apart. I don't think we can risk going back to the roof. Then we'll just have to use my car to escape this way. Ah, here we go, another action. <laughs> Poor Sterico. Uh, now what is it? Uh, no, no, no! I'm gonna die. <laughs> It was just too big. This isn't happening. It can't end this way. It won't end this way! What will become of him? No time to waste. Get in the car. Ah, uh, you know who's gonna be Bill Hawks? Mm. Where am I to My car? Is this some kind of joke? I know I'm carrying precious cargo, Prime Minister. I'll do my best to drive this safely. What are you waiting for? We gotta go. This is mad. Get the fuck out of Dodge! And Sterico died. Professor, up ahead. 
Oof. Use the nitro, Professor. <laughs> now what do we do? The road's blocked! Don't panic yet, Luke. Let's try driving over this map. That reminds me of a puzzle. <laughs> you perfect timing. What is there a escape route is blocked by blocks? You have five bombs at your disposal. Each bomb will completely destroy the block it's placed in. Remaining blocks will fall in empty spaces created below. Oh, okay. Then by destroyed blocks, they won't change shape. Place your five bombs on the five blocks that when destroyed will leave behind a flat surface. Okay, so we gotta get get this thing to get across. Make it back back then. To make it full across. Okay, my my best bet is this. Can you fit it in the holes? No, you can't. Uh, no. Oh, okay. You have to place uh place which blocks to remove. So take it to take a. Yeah, well, so I guess... we, gotta, we gotta do a Tetris puzzle. Yeah, don't remove the okay, don't remove. I think you should just remove the T first. Yes. Yeah, the T on the bottom of us. Yeah, just the bottom left. Bottom left. Nope! Mm -mm. Well, that doesn't automatically uh, fail. The yellow T thing. Oh, okay, so then. Oh! There you go. Hmm, Johnny Gold! I knew it! That was fun. Great, now let's get the fuck out of Dodge! Yes! We did it! We're not out of the woods yet. Hold tight, everyone. There we go again! Cinematic cutscene! Bill Hawks, you are in a lot of trouble. Professor. Nitro Ivan. Oh, okay, get rid of Bill Hawk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Mask. Huh? I remember that old series. I want a car like that. It's fine. Don't know if you ever you ever saw Mask. That was the uh, one with the transforming cars. But... Yes, Paul was always very good with machines. Oh, yeah. When did you learn how to fly a plane? A plane? This is an automobile. Ah! Oh. Ah, well done, Leighton! <laughs> Man, Sterico is not having a good time. Yeah. Is that the last of them, then? <laughs> yes, sir! All residents of the underground city have been brought topside, sir! Yes, sir! Hurry up, Leighton. Dad. It's too dangerous. He's not the only one to blame. You do know that, don't you, Professor? He's a war criminal. Mm -hmm. I do. Die. And they're going back to us. Of course. Yes, that's... Uh, 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 no, it's like I'm watching a movie. Now what? Not to worry, Luke. When you're all safe, I'll go back for her. in the underground city. All inhabitants are safe now. My thanks, Inspector. I see you, Luke. <laughs> this is the end for me. 
not true, Clive. You can always start over and try to repair the damage you've done. Yeah, think. I don't know if he can repair a life. No. We can talk about that later. This Did you see, see all those house demolished? People were in there. Yeah. No, they're going by old Ocean Dub Dragon Ball Z lo logic. They were all empty buildings. God damn. Uh, of, co of course. Of course. Today is Sunday in Monday. Sunday, bloody Sunday. What I tried to do. Yes, but I would never leave you here to die. After I all, would. so much of this tragedy was caused by the mistakes we scientists made. I... I see. There will be time to talk more later. We need to leave now. Good lord! <laughs> Look what you've done. This is what happened when you cause problem. <laughs> when they're left undone, they just get bigger and bigger until it's too much. It's, oh yes. No, Sterico, that yarn ball is too big. <laughs> Wait a moment, yo. Oh, technically, it's, that's supposed to be the underground city, so nobody was in it. So, oh my god, yep. it, it nuked the, the entire underground city. Yes, yep, but uh, at the same time, it also nuked the uh, whole support for the city above it. <laughs> oh, this is Midgar after all. <laughs> yep. The glass was there all along. Damn it, Jericho. Wait, so Claire was Eric? Is everyone alright? I think so, four. Professor. <laughs> Somebody apprehend that man at once. We're apprehending you. You're coming with me, boy. And I don't want any trouble. Inspector, a moment, please. Just what do you think you're doing? This man poses an imminent threat to our national security. I, I do. Let's take a moment to appreciate the uh, the background this time and the uh, top screen. Ooh, know, ooh. Amazing. Yeah. This? I cannot deny the damage that Clyde has done to our city, but we can't forget that he's also a victim of a political agenda for progress. No matter the cost. I'm talking about you, Mr. Hawks. Professor, I... Answer me one question, Clyde. You knew full well I'd stand in the way of your plot. So why did you send for me? Dimitri was sure he needed you for his project. But I knew full well of the threat you posed to my plan. Though I suppose I still led you all the way to the heart of my base, didn't I? At first, I was just... Well, Sterico, you made a good bad guy. But at some point, Thank you. I realized I was enjoying our time together. Maybe part of me wanted somebody to save me from my all-consuming... Next time it'll be Esteban. As you did, all those years ago. I need to go back! My parents are still inside! Pull yourself together, boy! There's nothing to be done. Jump back in there, and you'll die too! See, he saved him. <laughs> that was you. Deep down inside, I hoped you might be able to talk me down from the edge of insanity again. This is the second time you've saved my life now. Thank you. Clive. Don't worry about me. I intend to atone for my crimes. I look forward to the day we meet again. Until then. I hope life treats you well, Professor. And you Perhaps I'll see you in the next game. Barton, take him back to headquarters. Yes, sir! Huh. Criminals like him make me think the whole world has gone mad.
Yes, people can often be so blinded by their own motivations. Oh, is he going to arrest him too? Of the damage they do. Mm -hmm. But no criminals aren't the only blind ones. Just what are you implying, Inspector? Nothing at all. Just stating the facts, sir. Now, if you're uh, I can't. Me, I still have work to do. Not enough evidence. Ah, the bolt sword. I don't know what to say. When I think of all the suffering I caused in the name of research. It was terrible. But I see you must have loved Claire very much to do what you did. The more I reflect on it, the more unsure I am as to whether it was love. Or pride that compelled me. For ten long years I chased after what so many called impossible. I've come to my senses now. Hmm. But you know, Herschel, there is one detail that you got wrong. What are you referring to? Hmm? I don't think I have much longer here, Herschel. I don't know what you mean. You've taken awfully good care of that hat I gave you. Oh, what? Sir. What? What did you say? What? Because she's never had a sister. There's no record of Claire having a younger sister. So then, then yes, his time experiment it's quite a shock worked. When I first worked it out. But you, you can't really mean. It's me, Herschel. It's Claire. <gasps> oh, for the love of God! It defies logic. It seems the experiment ten years ago was So she was aged ten years. That's basically and what happened. Now Claire was shot ten years into the future. To our present. Yes. So the time machine worked. But then who was a corpse? A moment before it exploded. That's past That's Claire? not possible. Unfortunately, however, there were more complications. Shortly after appearing in the present. Claire's body mm -hmm. showed signs of molecular instability. It was trying to return to She was aging. I attribute that phenomenon to the incomplete nature of the time machine. She didn't have long here. I worked on the machine in the hopes of finding a way to stabilize her existence in the present. But it seems inevitable that she'll return to her own time. The moment of the blast. I beg Dimitri to stop his work. So she'll be transported back to when the explosion happens, so she'll be dying over and over and over again. She got hit by gold experience for Aquarium. We'd release upon the world if we tried to save the dead from their fate. The flow of time must remain linear. Yeah. So she, she has she has to go back in time to be in the explosion. But Dimitri would have listened to me. That's when I knew the only way to stop Essentially, she has to Kyle Reese herself. What Dimitri, Bill, and I did ten years yep. ago broke the laws of nature. And now mm -hmm. we must pay. They broke the fifth point in time, but they can the fifth point. Incomprehensible. It's time to end this already, Dimitri. Yes. It does seem that way. My research has threatened our very existence. And it could do so again. Tonight, I will close the book on the time machine. Forever. I hate. I suppose oh no, it, was, it was a good way to end it. Herschel, I have to go back to my own time, back to that day when we parted. No, oh, Claire. I'm sorry, I can't stay. Claire, wait! Yes. Mm -hmm. No. We had so many plans for the future. Do you remember, Herschel? I'll, I'll miss you. And our unwound future. Ah, uh, she said it. You can't go! 
I don't want to say goodbye again. I can't. I won't. <sighs> oh. I know you. All right, one puzzle you and can't I know solve. You'll stay strong. After all, that's what a gentleman does. I must go now, Herschel. <laughs> Thank you for everything. No. Goodbye. Oh, this is good. This was a very good ending. Hey, dumb. This rip this heart out of the game without you. She's gone. A moment. A moment, Sowitz. She's gone! This one shit gets real. This game would have the feels, but I would expect it would hit this this hard. Now, moment down. That way, we'll get the credits. Yeah. I can't hear anything. Oh, is it? Hey, there's a gold in it. It's like every single moment of time. Yeah. I want to oh. say, it was a pretty good adventure, but the faded Billhawk gets away scot free. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Hey, look, there's that one guy. The one that was going to vote. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured that the inspector was about ready to do it, but it's just there's not enough evidence to prove that he did anything in f revolving this. And yeah. Clive was the. You'll uh, find the evidence. You'll arrest him. Yeah, but uh, Clive was the the culprit at hand. Yeah. Oh, the two thugs. I mean, Luke looking at the oh, statue. Oh God, no! They're still alive. The uh, not. Moment. <laughs> Dimitri. Yeah. Oh, it, 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 I mean, I wow. Oh, that was when the pagoda uh, was destroyed. Yeah. The pagoda was well, no, it's when they had to j escape the pagoda and the flying machine. The so what flying machine? I guess Dimitri couldn't be considered the bad guy of this thing, so he uh, avoided rest. Yeah, so Bill almost. <laughs> this is when Bill almost fell to his death. I wish he did. <laughs> same, same. Nothing of value would have been lost. Oh. Okay. Well, they were lost for profit. Dark Boy play Yuri oh, Lowenthal. Christopher Miller. Let me hear. Yeah, there is Liam O'Brien. Yeah, how's was Liam? I know my voice. There, there was Liam and uh, O'Brien and um, uh, Yuri Lowenthal, who was uh, Clive. Mr. Rugalot. Yeah. Subject mm. three. Mm. Yeah, was back. Oh, I get a move on you two. Oh. 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 oh, Beasley's okay. Yeah, Beasley's okay. Murderer. So, look at his state. He can't walk. Like this out. Oh, yeah, Shady Deals guy, Blackmore. You can oh, uh, Deaf Deal. Oh, and there's, uh, there's, uh, Wannabe guy. Yeah. There's Flora. 
Who is there for my film just now? Please. Oh, was she? At, oh, she was at the school. She was uh, late yeah. a late student. Yep. Wanting uh, extra credit. <laughs> what? Oh, Shay. <laughs> Probably somebody we didn't meet yet. Yeah, there's there's Luke as a dog. <laughs> I mean, we already found the fake. Oh yeah, these are all the disguises from. Uh, oh, the the VR goggles. Oh, no. really? Ah. <laughs> Fish cake. Yum. Yeah. Just like the rapper, the rapper. Crack, crack, crack the eggs into the bowl. Oh, oh, this cake, don't ask. Don't do that. Oh, oh this could, like, hit that. Hey, it's Scar that scarf man. And... Oh. Oh, there, there's oh, young that, Clive. That's, um, Clive. Clive's parents. They really did well. Mm -hmm. That was quite the adventure, I gotta say. But, like most movies, you gotta see, see the after credits. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna be anything. When did they originally made this game? Oh, oh wait, this is where they depart to America. Yep. America. Fudge, yeah. <laughs> hey. I guess this is goodbye. Oh, because oh, Luke no, was leaving. Boy. This is so long, not goodbye. <laughs> now, Luke, you know a gentleman never <laughs> makes a scene in public. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm not a gentleman yet. <laughs> oh, oh. That's a good Come on. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, this is what, what it's been been like Leading for a year. To. Yeah. I mean, it's... <sighs> the Man. end. Yep. Copyright level five. Do not steal. What's... Letter. Wait. What's the letter say? Professor Layton. Oh, it's Luke. Oops, okay, we'll it's been a while since we said goodbye. How have you been? As for me, I'm all settled in and making new friends. Yeah, I believe, like, wait a minute. So, oh, Luke right, was in America? Something deeply puzzling happened here recently. Oh, so this is where... It seems this is where the mystery has new game is made. starting off. Professor mm -hmm. Layton and his apprentice. I don't think anyone else could get to the bottom of it. Yes, Luke, my new apprentice, Flora. I've enclosed a document with this letter that will uh, tell you more about the situation. But, but yeah, yeah, they kept this, uh, the final puzzle. Look, I made myself a wax stamp. It's like the one I used to sew important envelopes in there, except it looks like my hat and they all stands for Luke. I've already used it once. See, is in the blue wax neat, matches my hat. Here's my puzzle. Of the four examples, A, B, C, D, which is the one of my actual stamp? Let's see if I've got this right. Well then. Yay. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. Oh. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, but it's not the it's not... wait to start this new adventure with you. Please write back as soon as you get this letter. Oh boy, I really can't wait for for hit the world scene. But and apprentice, Luke. But you gotta gotta know that. This wasn't the. Oh! Wait, this was the... Oh my god. Every single. Hmm. No Cthulhu there. No Cthulhu. Ah, too bad. Yep. So we could do So, yeah, like, uh. Little, like, they didn't, like, do it for that. They decided to study, they want to know how. You know, like Luke and Layton met. Did you really have to see? Yeah, so. Yeah, 153 puzzles, look. 
Uh-huh. Cool. Uh-huh. Yep. Thank you for that, Fess. Yep. yep. Indeed. So, well, yeah, how are we going to start this next uh, order? Of, like, uh, no. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. It's going to be a fresh start. Oh, but actually, do you, do you want to, like, uh, start, uh, start, the, like, the, start, well, start uh, try, trying out the last specter? Uh, what I, well, for next time, obviously, because it's way too oh, late yeah. now, but. Yeah, yeah. This is... I was going to mention thank you guys for enjoying the ride with all of us, I... especially our uh, yeah. viewers. Yeah. Thank you, Vass, for the nice models for the stream. I don't know if you wanted to make uh, different ones in uh, upcoming latent games. Yeah. 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 And, in honor, and in honor of Clive, I, I say that Sterico should look like Clive. Yes. Yeah, I think Esteban yeah. wearing Clive's outfit would be a nice thing. Hey, there you go. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to be rating now now is like it's a good, really unique t time because I'm going to be rating Justin Wong. Mm -hmm. You can see streaming right now. Oh, is he doing a boss oh, rage? Well, no. He is. Uh, he is going to be chatting. So nice. See if you can do a, a match with him. Well, just chatting is all. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, so, yep, next week, we're going to continue the latest saga back to where we all began. With the Lost Spectre. Oh, I no. Thought, I thought that was Curious Village. No, the prequel trilogy. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, no. okay. You can, you can use a play pass and get play the first two games. Hmm. Nice. What, so. for free? Yes. Nice. Well, I gotta go, guys. Uh, it's been nice. Yeah. But, uh, just let me know when you guys start the prequel. Yeah, sure. yep. Voice that one. <laughs> and of course, Jericho, anytime. Yep. I'll, I'll see you all later. See you, Hunter. Bye.